What is going on here? My love, what do you mean by what is going on here? Do not play dumb with me like you do not know what I'm talking about. What is going on here? <laughs> His name is Gonzalez Newton. He's the best sass player in Nigeria. I brought him for you. For what exactly? Beautiful princess of Dunu Kingdom. The one with alluring presence. The one her presence intimidates. The one molded in the nature of winds. Please. Make my day. I am convinced that you are the best among the best. Yes, and there is no other one like you. Please marry me. I vow on my honor to make you the happiest woman on earth. Yes. Please, don't say no. What have you done? Exactly what it looks like. I am tired of your lying, cheating ass. What do you think? That I'll be foolish enough to, to allow you walk over me again and again? Oh no, I won't do that. Babe, what are you talking about? Me cheating on you? How? No, you aren't cheating on me. That is how you, you stand in my front always and lie to my face. The same way you, you, you lie to all the numerous girls who have graced your bed. Oh wait! Your secretary, your secretary who happens to be your newest lover should know exactly what I'm talking about. Babe. Do not call me. I am done with you, Kevin. I am done with all the charade. I am done pretending that I do not know all the things you do, why they get to me. And the worst part of it all is that you look me in the face always and then you lie to me over and over. I am done for good. Thank you so much for bringing me out here just to waste my time. Excuse me. Rita. Thank you. happened to you, my princess? This is quite unlike you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, something happened and I lost it. Okay. But please, just do me a favor. Huh? Yes, my princess. Do not tell mommy I'm in this state, okay? Just go, go to your room. The queen is already aware of this, my princess, and she's not happy. Just go to your room. Good 
Where's Mobulu? He stepped out a bit early and I overheard him telling the Queen about a breakfast meeting. Mm. Okay, just tell the guy to get my car ready. Mother! We need to talk. Mommy, good morning. What happened? You came back last night so drunk. Uh, Mommy, please, I uh, wouldn't want to discuss that right now. I have to get to the office. When I come back, we'll talk about it. Thank you. You mean all those stories, all those stories was true? That she really did a number on you? What she did to me is something I cannot wish to my enemy. You should have been there. You should have seen how she glaringly directed at me. I've never seen her lose her cool like this before. See, girl, I hate to say this, eh, but I told you, every being on this planet Earth has their stretching limit, including her. Yes, you said so, but it's not my fault. She's always busy with work, 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 work. The little time I spent with her, her phone never stopped ringing. What should I have done? Learn some self-control and put it in your pint. Tell me what I don't know. My breakup with... Your failed engagement, Kelvin. Whatever, whatever. That's the list of my problems. The issue is, how do I face my father? My father is going to skin me alive if he finds out what happened. Wait, you mean to tell me that you have not told them yet? How could I? He called me this morning I pretended to be exhausted based on yesterday's activities. Even the Queen, Her Majesty called me a number of times. I couldn't pick a call. Talk of the devil. Her Majesty is calling Bro, not that you do not deserve everything that is happening to you right now. But the best thing to do now is to answer her call and know the reason why she's calling you. That is the best thing to do. Alright, alright, alright. Hello. Your oh, Majesty. Ah, son, I didn't know that you were this time. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, I was. Uh, why are you being weary on phone? I've always told you to feel at home while talking to me. I know, Your Majesty, I just... You shy on phone, son. Well, um, I didn't call it to string you with much of my questions. I called to invite you to the palace this evening. I also called your father. I said, since you're true with the proposal, we should be discussing about the marriage proper, the wedding. Um, but Her Majesty. Uh, please don't tell me that you're preoccupied with work that you'll not be able to make it. So sometimes I wonder how both of you will be together when you settle down. So I will be expecting you. All right, Her Majesty. Okay, bye. Yes, what is it? What's wrong? Her Majesty invited me to the palace. What? Uh, why? Wait, has she told them and now they want to drill you? I don't think so. The way she sounded. I don't think Princess told her anything about the failed engagement. If she doesn't know, then why are you now invited to the palace? Well, I don't understand. I don't know. She's been on her own about the wedding preparation. Then you have to seize this opportunity. If she hasn't told them, maybe she does not want it. And it's a perfect opportunity for you to rekindle whatever lost trust you both have in each other. Think about it, bro. doing in my father's compound. What? What has he come here to do? Okay. Girl, come 
Come here and give me a hug. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. I'm feeling very happy now. My queen, I have never felt so happy in years. Congratulations, my dear. Congratulations. I have always known that you two will make a perfect couple. Yeah. I swear, wherever your father, the king, is now, he will be very happy. Very, very happy. Congratulations once again, my dear. Wow. Hey! What are, you, what are you talking about? Ah, come here, silly girl. You could have told me the truth instead of keeping me in suspense. So, I, I, do, do you know how worried I was? Thinking that the proposal didn't go through the way Kevin planned. What proposal, mom? Show me the ring. Where is the ring? Mm, actually, um, the ring got switched at the jewelry shop. So I, it seems other customer had ordered the exact ring I ordered for. So I had to return the ring for them to ratify it. I'll be getting it back this evening. Yes, this evening. But it's OK. Uh, it's, it's still all right. We are already uh, on the wedding plan. Um, but before then, don't you? Uh, uh, would you mind we having an engagement party for us? Because this is the princess. We're supposed to. Sitat, would you mind? Uh, mommy, please. Um, I would like to have a moment with Kelvin. At least tell me if you... Uh, are... Mom, she has just said that she would like to have some time with... Uh, what's his name? Um, Kel uh -huh. With um, her fiancé. So... I believe that the conversation can continue afterwards, right? Yes, ma'am. Please. There's no problem with that. No, but don't forget that we still need to talk. And please, there's no problem. They will come back. Hey, I'm very happy now. Yes. Mm. Do you mind? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to drink. I want to know exactly what is going on in there. Please. What? No, no, no. Let me talk. What is really going on in there? Tell me. Why are our parents overwhelmingly happy over what you and I know will never happen? Why? Please calm down. No, 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 no. Do not tell me to calm down. Why are we being congratulated over a supposed blissful proposal? Which, of course, you and I know exactly what went down. Why didn't you tell your father about it? I couldn't. As well, since you didn't tell your mother either. No, I was going to tell her when I returned from work. But apparently, you have some trick up your sleeve. I don't have any plans up my sleeve. I didn't know you didn't tell your mother. She just kind of caught me off guard. By the time I got here, my dad was already here. I had no choice than to play along. Please. You're nothing but a godforsaken son of a bastard. That is what you are. Of course. You always do what suits you instead of doing the right thing. I know you. Um, please, we can, we can still work this out. Please. Hell no, we can't. All right. Tell me anything you want me to do for you to forgive me. I am now a changed person. Mm -hmm. I love you, Herita. Uh -huh. Heaven can bear me witness, please. But not enough to keep it in your pants. Kevin, you really want to know the truth? I am done with everything. I am tired. The best thing for you to do right now is to go in there and tell them the truth. Everything that happened. If you don't, then I will. All right. Uh, I, I will do I it. I will do it myself. Chief Cosmos? My Mother? Yes, sweetheart. What we do? Um, Kevin and I have something very important to share with you people. Something? Yes, Mother. Is everything all right, sweetheart? Everything is perfectly fine. Just that... Um, Are you pregnant? No, sir. Of course not. But on the contrary, there won't be a wedding. What? Why? That is because Kevin and I are no longer together. What? 
Sweet said but you got engaged last night. No, I didn't, mother. He actually proposed. And I threw my wine on his two tiny cheating face and walked away. It was a failed proposal, mother. I was so surprised when I walked in here and I started hearing about engagement party. Oh no, not at all. Kelvin. How could you, you stupid boy? How could you? This glorious opportunity that was given to you on a platter of gold and you lost it. How? Why? I can't believe this. You had only one duty, Kevin. One, just one. Get to the princess and marry her. I even had to project you before the king while he was alive that he chose and adored you before he died. But what did you do? Because of this stick between your legs, you lost an opportunity that the whole family waited for so long. Dad, I... Shut up. Just get out. Get out of here. I tried, father. You I tried? Tried. tried? Did you? You tried? Severally have I warned you that this promiscuous life you're living is nothing but death. But did you listen? No. Now you are seeing where it has landed you. Father, can I make this right? Make what right? The only thing I want you to make right now is to leave my presence. Get out of here! Get out! Go! Get out of here! Is this happening? I can't believe this is happening. What is this? Hello? He failed. This my useless son. He failed to get the princess to marry him. I'm very angry now. Uh, later, later, please. There is nothing wrong with me, mother. I am perfectly fine. Carita, you're sick. That's the only logical explanation to that stupid stunt you pulled. How can you just wake up and end the relationship with a gentleman? A gentleman, you say? Mm -hmm. Mother, what kind of a gentleman cheats on his woman? Uh, he's not the first to cheat. And certainly won't be the last. Uh, do you think your father was a saint? Mother, that you decided to leave the life of royalty and watched father disrespect you doesn't necessarily mean that I will be you, mother. No! Harrietta! I will not watch any man do that to me. Harrietta! No man will insult or humiliate me, not even when he's not married to me. It's not done, mother. I am really amazed. I just told you right now that my boyfriend insulted me, and all you could tell me is stay with him. Because he's a good boy. Oh. The fact that he screwed up once does not mean that he's a bad boy. <laughs> really? Yes. Honestly, mother, I have no word for you. Mommy, know that was uncalled for. Yes, I don't see why you're upset. You'd applaud her for having the balls to want to walk away from an already toxic relationship. That wasn't nice. You met her? Eh? No, that wasn't right. What is wrong with everybody? Rita. Rita. Who is that? It's me. I, I just I just want to check on you. Are you okay? Mommy, please go away. Calm down, Rita. Listen, I want to apologize to you for how mom handled that issue. Okay, can you just open up so I can talk with you? No, what I said, go away. 
Okay. I wonder what's so special about that girl that my father had to slap me because of her. Um, you should be the one to tell me. There's nothing so special about her. She's just a giant pain in my ass. And I'm happy that she left. Yes. But your father thinks otherwise. Who cares? Is he the one letting with the babe? Does he know what I've been passing through? Hey. Hey, that's enough. Hey, it's okay. That's it. You've had enough to drink. It's okay. Give me the drink. It's okay. Put yourself together. I'm like, this is the only thing that keeps me going. I understand. I'm exhausted. I think I need a babe this night. I didn't hear you. You heard me loud and clear, Mecca. I said I need a girl. Nobody should tell me how to live my life. This is my life. Yes. If you're interested in one, you can, you can follow me. No, I can't help it but to believe the princess. Calvin, you are irredeemably pathetic. Huh? Lord of Jesus. Who am I seeing? Good evening, Kevin. Wow, you even know my name. And who are you? Are you serious? That means you're just as useless as they say. You mean you don't remember the same Andrea you spent the night with two months ago? Are you kidding me right now? Hold on, hello, hello. Come on. Andre, come on, wait, 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 wait. I am sorry for everything, okay? Just come inside the car, let me explain everything to you. I'm sorry. You know a lot of things on my head. I'm sorry too, but I'm not in the mood. Andre, come on, please, come on. Get me out, okay? Please. What do you think? I have come to take the lost ship back home. This is what I get when I come to this useless family hotel. Had it been I went to somewhere else, would you have pulled this stunt? But I don't blame you. I blame the useless receptionist that led you to my room without confirming from me. I'll make sure she's sacked. Yes. Kelvin, stop saying what you cannot do. I stop complicating your problems more I and more. I don't have problems. You and father are the ones that have problems. The ones that wouldn't allow me to live my life in peace. Yes. Dress up. Father is waiting. Did it occur to you that I'm a man of my own? Yes. When will you stop badging into my life anytime, any day, anywhere? When? If you are really a man of your own, you wouldn't be letting father and I take care of your mess. You are too lousy for your own good. Come on and stop wasting more time than already wasted. Let's go. What is this? What's going on? Who the hell is she? Someone who is none of your consign. And I don't care, I don't bloody care who the hell you are. As long as you stay away from me. Oh my God. You are married. You lying piece of shit. I thought you said you're not married, but you are. I told you I don't do married men. Baby, you're so sick. Hey, hey. Just keep your voice down. This man here is my younger brother, and I have come to take him home. I will tell them to serve you breakfast. Check out time is noon. OK? 
Kelvin, I'll be waiting for you at the reception. And you, be careful how you speak to people you meet for the first time. Why is your sister so bossy? Shut up! I said shut up before I shut it for you. I thought you said I'm married. Shut up. Allow me to drink. Do I really know you? My father, the president and the CEO of this hotel, is still struggling for years to know me. Who the hell are you to know me for just one night? Who the hell are you? Damn. I can't believe Dad called you. You messed up, Kelvin. Of course he should call me. Is that how you're putting it? I messed up. What is it then? You date a girl for three years. And just when you had to grab that one opportunity you have, what did you do? You slipped off. Just because you couldn't keep it to your pants. I'm a man. And I have my needs. Which your precious princess cannot really allow. What am I supposed to do? Die from the blue balls? Damn. It means achieving our goals with her. Why the heck not? Sound like that. Yes. It's always your goals, your goals, your goals. Nobody give a damn how I feel. I'm a human being. Of course. I have my own feelings and my own desire. Yes, sometimes you consider me. Okay? Yes. You useless boy. So after the mess you made, you had the nerves to be out there with some girl on your bed. And of all the places you went to my hotel, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Kevin, can anything good ever come from you? Father, it's okay. I am sure he has totally repented from his sin. We should be looking for the way forward here. Kevin, you are going to rectify this mistake. How, Father? I don't know. Neither do I care. All I know is that I need things back the way they were. And when that is achieved, I want no time wasted. The wedding must go on immediately. And so will the transition. What transition? What is going on? You do not question me, boy. You just do as I say, okay? Really? Really? I have no say. Let me remind you. I am the one who is sacrificing his happiness, joy, everything on the altar of marriage. And you sit back here telling me I have no right to question you. Damn, father. <laughs> Talk some sense into his stupid dull brain. I want this mistake rectified. And he is the one that is going to make it happen. Don't worry, Father. I, I will talk to him. Akoko Mogo. Hey, Kelvin. What the hell is wrong with you? That's not the way to talk to Father. And you know it. What has come over you? Why are you so stubborn? Me stubborn? When I'm the sacrificial lamb here? Everyone is contributing something to make this work. You are not the only one here. What is it? For you? For dad? For family? What the hell is going on here? Why is everybody insisting I get married to princess? What is going on? Uh, you know, mom, I've been thinking that um, maybe we should do what father used to do when he was alive, you know, get people together, some sort of appreciation to the gods. What for, if I may ask? Oh, for so many things. One of which is, um, you know, saving you from that havoc of a man. Excuse you? 
Saved who? You. Oh, did you think it was your making that you saw through the cloak of Peter's that he had worn all that time? Now, nah, come on now. It wasn't me, it was the gods. <laughs> now listen to me, Mobudu. I am my own person. I mean, I do not need any gods to know what a crook he was. That I kept quiet about his infidelity doesn't necessarily mean that I'm blind. Ah, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Stop fighting. Just admit it. Eh? Uh, it was the gods. There is nothing to accept. Absolutely nothing at all. I mean, I made my decision upon the evidence at hand. Nothing more, nothing less. I mean, I'm not as superstitious as you that always believe that everything must have religious machination to them. Mom, why is she talking like this? Eh? Tell her now. Tell her how it works. It wasn't you. It was... Listen, this is not a joke. Oh, but can you let me rest for you? Can, can I be? Uh, both of you should just shut up. What would you? Thanksgiving to the gods? For what? For disrupting your sister's supposed marriage? You should be pleading with them to bring back things to normal the way they were before. What, what exactly are you talking about? Bring what to normal? We have gone through this a lot of times. And I've said it to you that it will never work, mother. Now let me repeat myself. I do not, will not and will never marry that loser, even if he's the last man on this earth. Never will I. And to you, Obodo, I do not need any sort of fetish wisdom from the gods. Because I was created with enough brain to be able to differentiate what is wrong from what is right. And not the other way around. So please, whatever you're doing, count me out. And I get in them, and that is an undecided. Then it's delusion, and then it's delicious. I can have one more. My good people of Dunu Kingdom, I greet you. You're welcome. Thank you, good view. As no na be here, could help you there be? Can you could have loved you? What has brought you to the abbey of the great priest? Ah. Uh. We are the cabinet elders of Dunu. On the invitation of our prince, we have come with regards to his last prayer request he made. Amitor, the great deity of Dunu, has been benevolent towards him and his family, and he has deemed it necessary to bring a cow and initiate a Thanksgiving prayer. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Thy name is in the name of the year. Do you want to enter? Then can walk in, then can wine. There, there can that for an uncle. That by an day. There, do not be able. As a good, I can know. I Great gods of Dunu Kingdom, you have heard, you have seen the item your people brought to you. You are also aware of the gratitude behind the mind with which they present this item to you. I plead on their behalf that you show your blessings upon them Guide them, protect them at all times. My dear Prince, O Kosis of Dunu, Mamlo no Kongwa, O Mekanaya, Mamu Tarabuehi, O Fumakomu. The gods are happy with you. They have always been happy with you. They are still happy with you, and they will continue to be happy with you at all times. May the blessings, protection, and guidance of the gods ever be 
with you now and forever. He said. Nde kete nde munda ne meri nde ne muna yasi kun ekene. Gozi ane ane ke gozi ane anori gozi ane anafu gozi ane anangu. Eke buru panya keti yoma. Afu buru panya foti yoma. Nku buru panya foti yoma. As mori e buru nku nyari ti yoma. Ane na no bus na ne ke nori afu nku. As yoma me kuara kumendi ne meri. Then you could then get and then we can take a wine. Never none day, she shall not achieve a fab no for Wabu no Quarusab, not some Wabu no more. As soon as I can have one, and then you know, none day. Not to for two ta. I'm back at you and I tell us, my dad, you're a job with your men, do 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 no no. Can't look all your seal, oh, and I can't know the lena for the one I'm called upon your group of Rugo. You see, I'm in a position to confirm to you that it is true. The alliance our late king forged with Chief Cosmos of Labada Kingdom has been broken by the princess. Ask me why she did that. <laughs> not able to tell you. Well, in as much as I'm concerned, I don't know what went on between those two. But I'm happy that the tie keeping us and Abada Kingdom has been broken by the princess. Why? You know I never liked that boy. Or anyone from Abada good enough for the princess to start with. Why? You see, it, it, the fact that it is broken is not an issue. But, you know, with this alliance now, the princess is now back in the market. But I only hope there is a son or there are sons of Dunu Kingdom who are able to make her theirs. But at times like this, ah, I only wish my only son had not gotten married yet. Mm. Hmm? Well, I doubt if any son of Dunu will entertain the idea of marrying her. Why do you say that? You know how the princess behaves. She's a hard nut to crack. Mm, hard nut to crack. Let me tell you something. With the right hammer and the right amount of pressure, yeah, even the hardest nuts crack. Mm. Yeah. I want to see the prince now, madam. And I, we said you cannot. Not now. I must see the prince. It is important. Allow me. Madam, madam. Allow me in. You that your ear is not working or what? You just don't know. Stand up and I want to see the prince. This is the people's palace. I had the right to see the prince. Okay. This, I had the right. It's my right. It's not only right you have. You also have left. To, to go outside the palace. Hey! What is going on? My prince, now this woman, oh. My prince, you left strict instructions. Except for emergencies, which I believe is the case here. I've told you guys that this place is a people's palace. And the people have the rights to come here, whatever they choose to. Huh? Let her through. Woman! We are sorry, my prince. We talked to you. Sorry. My prince. This way, please. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. What is the matter? My prince, please, I need your help. I need your help. What happened? Is it JD? He took everything from me. I have nothing else. It is fine. Calm down. Uh, walk with me. Thank you, my prince. Let's talk inside. Thank you. Are you sure this man I'm looking at will make it as the king of this kingdom? He is too soft. What he's supposed to say is, God, throw this woman out. Slap her out of the palace. He said, get coming. So you mean to tell me that he did all that? My prince, he took everything. Not even a single to bar of yam. Everything, he took all of them. He didn't leave anything for us. My vegetables, they are all gone. My prince, how do I survive with my kids? 
We are hungry. How do I survive with my kids? How do we cope? Why would a JAD go against my judgment? My prince, he did. He didn't pity us. He did. He took everything. He did everything. I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. I'll handle it. As for what you and your children will eat, uh, it's not a problem. I have you covered. I'll have um, the guards bring some items to your place. Okay, to so take care of. Mba, my please, Biko, I didn't mean to bother you, Biko. Please, don't bother yourself. I don't want you to disturb yourself about what we will eat. We will manage, Biko. Oh, Biko. Please, 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 get up. First and foremost, I'm human. You don't kneel to talk to me. I am not a deity that people kneel to worship. I'm human like you. And secondly, you're not disturbing me. Tackling and dealing with the concerns of my people is top priority for me. And it's not going to change, it's going to remain that way. Okay? What affects you affects us all. Huh? And thirdly, and most importantly, this is a royal palace. We have enough items that can see to the needs of many families here. And we're not going to run out of stock. So please allow me. Get the guards to send some items over to your place while I'll handle each aid. Okay. My friend, thank you very much. How does it counsel? Uh, my prince. The last time this case was brought to this court, I passed a clear judgment that abates Ichie Idi from stepping into that land or taking any produce from that land. Am I right? Yes, yes you are right. <clears throat> so why do I have this woman coming back to me after a couple of weeks to complain about the same issue. Hey, Chedi, do you have any reason for going back to that land which clearly does not belong to you to harvest from produce that again does not belong to you. You Chedi, I'm asking questions and I want answers. I made myself very clear on this matter months ago, did I not? Well, you did, my prince, but... But you decided to flout my judgment, Chedi. What is wrong with you? Why are you so wicked and mischievous? That is a poor widow. What do you want her to do? Do you want her and her children to go hungry? Will that make you happy? Is that what you want? I ask you. My prince, I have not done anything wrong here. What I did is actually in line with the tradition of this land. My late brother that you speak of died without a son. And tradition bestowed on me the right to take over whatever thing that belonged to him. Every single thing he left, his lands and everything, they all belong to me, including this woman who will always come here to complain to you. She is my property. Ah, uh, ah. At least learn to uh, uh, take care of what you have before seeking another. Yeah, meanwhile, you can barely do justice to that woman. Uh, uh, stop coveting your late brother's wife. Oh, you are not What are you saying? What is coveting my? What are you saying? How can a human being covet what is his? The woman you're in question is my own property. Tell you just said so. It would interest you to know that certain 
cultures, and tradition have gone through evolution since civilization set in in this country. Ichedi, what you have done is a clear act of wickedness and inhumanity, and such acts will not go unpunished. You know what you have done. Ichedi, clearly an act of theft and crime against the earth. It will not go unpunished. My prince, I don't, do you understand what you are just trying to do? I am still talking, sir. You are going to go back. You take everything that you have taken from that land back to that woman. Henceforth, you are not allowed to step your feet into that land or any land that belongs to your late brother. Do you hear me? It is his family's property. And so shall it remain. Do you understand me, J.D.? Can't you talk to him? Do you understand him? No, 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 no. A man like him who has inherited the ancient instrument of power should not be making outrageous proclamations. J.D., these are not outrageous proclamations. You are going to do exactly as you have been told. Else, there will be consequences. Consequences that you will not be able to bear. And finally, you're hereby suspended from the Council of Elders for one month. What? Yes, you take that time to think of the problems that you've had. Not just with that woman, but with everyone in this community. Think of your life. Purge yourself. Repent and become a better person. And come back to us as someone who is willing to work with us to move this community forward. How does it cancel? My friends. You will all agree with me. Just like my enemies will agree with me that I have been very clear on this matter. No, are you not going to talk to me? About what? This riffraff. You have finally touched the tail of a lion. And I am going to roar. And I am going to tear you into pieces. What is it tonight? You're not looking your normal self. My beautiful wife, I am fine. I am just thinking like a man. And if you don't mind, I will want to be left alone. Please. Okay. Should I get your food now? Can you remember yourself? I will call for food when I am ready for it. I agree that what Iche Idi did was wrong, but suspending him from the Council of Chiefs and Elders is a bit too much. It is too harsh. Harsh as how? Why are you talking as if you were not there or had everything the woman said? I know, but there are no buts. Why would Iche Idi go back to reclaim all the property that belongs to his late brother? Because true to the prince's word, they are not his. So he shouldn't have gone there. Especially after the verdict has been reached last time. See, asking him to surrender those things is not my problem. My only problem is the suspension. I mean, it's too wrong. It's, it's all wrong. It is not wrong. It is not wrong. The prince is right. You know he has this no certain attitude. No certain attitude that makes him think Highly of himself all the time. It is good to see that he has gotten a taste of his own medicine from a young man who will never 
compromise in the application of the rules of justice. You are right. Uh, you are right, uh, uh, That man's pomposity hmm, waffles me at times. But I have, honestly, I have a problem with the prince. How do you a mean? problem with the prince? The prince? Can't you see? He's stepping on too many toes and he's sparing no sacred cows in his so-called application of the rules of justice. Ah! Some men may go all out to silence him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you think any man can harm our prince? Huh? It is not possible. <laughs> the gods of Duno have been with that boy since his conception. No harm can befall him. I hope so. I hope. I hope. I hope so. <laughs> what is wrong with you, son? You can't continue doing things like this. Doing what exactly, mother? Helping my people. Why not? By letting them leech out on our food storage. Come on, mother. We have more than enough. So why not? Well, Budu, you are not a deity. You are human. And there is no way you can please all of them. Son, you can't continue suspending cabinet members over baseless accusation. At this rate, you end up with none. At this rate, with all due respect, mother, I don't care. I am not going to have a man of such reputation in my cabinet. A man who represents greed, a man who does not care about his immediate family members. How do you think that kind of man would deal with the entire community? Mother, I have never failed you. You have to trust me. I know exactly what I am doing. You do? Yes, Mom. You are sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> because from all indication, it seems you don't. Mother, if your suggestion is that I let that man remain in my cabinet, a man who can stand back and watch his brother's wife suffer while he can us all that is accrued to her for her survival without any sense of remorse. Uh, that permit me to say that our thinking on this matter is different, mother. Oh, but these are lawmakers. <sighs> they are the custodians of this land. Once the third reign comes, you'll be crowned king. So this is a trial moment for you. And it's better you don't get on their bad side. Uh, Mom, man cannot be made king when the gods have not approved. Ultimately, the gods are the kingmakers. I want to be that kind of king, mother. A king made by the gods and not a king made by men. For their selfish reason. Not a king made by man for the manipulation of the rules of justice, mother. Please. How else do I explain this to him? That he can't fight this man. Fighting them is like fighting your own existence. My prince, my prince. Ah. <laughs> the very replica of his father. The very personification of truth in Duno. I greet you. Too clever. I greet you. Eh? I greet you. <laughs> you know, you always have a way with words, eh? And you always get to me. Eh? You know, I'm right. I always aim to please. <laughs> yes, you aim to please, and you please very well. Eh? As you can see, I was on my way out, but um, you being here, I believe, must be very important. Yes, it is. Mike can wait because whatever it is you are going must be very important. No, let mine wait. Eh? I would like to hear your suggestions. Eh? So come, let's go in and talk. It's okay. Eh? You're welcome. I think you went too far with suspending him from the council. We all know what he did was wrong, but ridding him of the royal cabinet. Just seemed like you were playing with Spitfire. Too clever. 
I clearly understand how quick temper the JD can be, but the law is the law. I would agree with me that the law is not a respecter of any man. Yes, I know, Your Highness. I know. But you should also know the hand you are playing with. ED is not just any man. He is a core member of the courts of the kingmakers. The gods are the kingmakers, Chief Clement. The gods are the kingmakers. The gods will make me king. I do not need that court to become king. Yes, in the spiritual realm. But the one family we know that has always put crowns on the heads of every king that has ever lived in Duno is his family. He is the first hand of the king. Even where I, the owner, who don't have a say, his words go over every territory. I am afraid he might do something. I am not afraid. I am not afraid of him. The only one that I fear is my creator, the one who owns the air that I breathe. The gods bear me witness. Tell you, J.D., that I am not afraid of him. And I'm not afraid of any man. My priest, don't you... I don't care what he does. A J.D. cannot continue to remain as a member of cabinet while he disrespects our laws and values as a people. If anything, that man is supposed to be a living example of how we should live. A true custodian of our tradition and culture. That way, the people will know that the elders in council do not only make laws, but they also live by the rules of justice. You have been like this since yesterday you came back from the palace. Kiru, I am fine. I am just thinking, reflecting like the man. I don't know if I can do this, but I. It will be appreciated if you can leave me alone. Please. How can I leave you alone when you are not even talking to me? Yeah? At least tell me what is going on. Can you imagine that fool? Who? That boy. That riffraff who is parading himself as the prince of Duno. Saying he has suspended me from the cabinet of Duno land. Over what exactly? Because of Abuma. Because I want to claim my right over a bomber that imbecile suspended me from the cabinet of Duru. Something that even his late father, the king that we buried already, cannot even imagine. I have already promised myself that I am going to cross him. And I mean every word of it. He suspended you from the Council of Elders. That's what has been eating you up. Did I hear you well? No. You heard me loud and clear. I mean, I do not see any issue in this as you are making it look. Huh? See? I told you the consequences of this should the prince hear of it. But you do listen to me. Mm. No. You took my words to be that of a woman. Why you woman? Now, listen to me, Kiru. I don't want to fall out with you. And in your overall interest, that is... If you are still interested in this union, then you must learn how to stand exactly wherever you see me standing. On any issue, 
Do not ever try to stand opposite of me because I am going to crush you. Now, I cannot stand in the wrong just to please my husband. Please. I also have the right to tell my husband the truth. Do you know what? I want to be left alone. Man, call a spade a spade. Just call a spade a spade. That you are being punished because of your evil deeds does not make the priest stupid. He is by far the wisest ruler this kingdom will ever witness. Yeah. I said, get out! Fools! What are they referring to the fool as a ruler? You write under my nose. Why am I having these dreams? Why? You were restless last night. I saw when you left your room to have a little air in the sit out. Can you tell me what happened? Mom, after the passing of my father, Billy King, you would agree with me that I am now the man of the house. Are you saying that I cannot monitor the palace at night and just sit out? Huh? Son, you and I know that it's not about monitoring the palace. Uh, Tell me, what is it? Ah, uh, mom. Yes, son. You know, I have this all important uh, meeting with um, the cabinet members today. Mm -hmm. I will speak to you. Outside the meeting. Why can't he trust me? What? Looking at you, my instincts tells me that all isn't well with you. Something is really bothering you. You can talk to me about ah, it. But I already told you what it is, eh? Didn't I? Yes, you did, but I didn't buy that. I'll be fine, okay? Uh, you have this important meeting at your office. People are waiting for you. We're done with your meeting. While I deal with the orders, if I still have time, I'll come see you. All right. Uh, you have a nice day. Come here. Mm. Be good. Sure. Elders of the Kingdom. Thank you, Prince. Prince. You're all welcome. Thank you all so much for taking time off your very busy schedule to be here. Uh, in order not to take much of your time, I'll just get straight into the business of the thing. Uh -huh.
Ichedi. I thought the punishment was so loud and clear that even if you were deaf, you could have had it. Yes, Ichedi. What kind of insult is this? <laughs> punishment. Insult. I don't understand. Ichedi. Come off it. You know exactly what we are talking about. You cannot be here. And why is that? Because you were given a suspension a few days ago in this council. So you are not supposed to be here. Well, I am of the opinion that nobody can give me that kind of punishment. Ichedi, what sort of a madness is this? How can you disrespect our crown prince and this council like this? You were suspended and you will do us well to excuse us from this meeting. I don't know what you are talking about. I don't know why you are shouting. I am an Ishiye in Dunu and I, I have come for the Council of Elders meeting. Let me tell you something. There is only one person who has the right to issue such punishment to anybody and that is a king. We don't have a king as we speak, so I wouldn't know. The reason why you would say that I have been suspended from the Council of Elders. Forgive me. If I feel that your prince, your crown prince, is not worthy of giving me that kind of punishment, I'm so sorry, but uh, that is my stand. It doesn't matter who has the power to met out such punishment. It's a day. The fact remains that a punishment has been meted out to you, so you should be respectful enough to observe it. I will do no such thing. I will do no such thing. I am so sorry. I am already here for the meeting, and I think the best thing for us to do is to proceed with the meeting. This is not just an insult to the prince, but to the entire elders and council and chiefs of Duno. No, 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 you see. I have not insulted anybody. Rather, he is the one who insulted me by telling me that I have been suspended from the council of the elders of Duno. It is not going to happen because he has got no power to do what he did. The only person who can do that is the person who bears the sword of truth and the offer of Duno Kingdom. He is not bearing any of those. Therefore, he has no right whatsoever to issue the punishment that he did. Well, if he thinks that um, I was in the wrong, I've just made it very clear to him that he is equal in the wrong. So the best thing for us to do is to suspend whatever thing that happened and let us continue with the meeting. Can I go moon? Hi. You were not there. I am just coming out from the meeting and I'm in a position to tell you exactly what happened. I have never witnessed such an insult in my entire life. He uttered those words with so much impunity. Ichaidi must be called to order. Because that young man is not just the prince. He is our crown prince, our soon to be king. The gods confer on him the right to make important decisions. A character like Ichaidi must not be allowed to undermine the office of the young man because the decision has gone against him. Yes. Yes, that's what. what, 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 what it, Mokodo, I warned you, didn't I? I warned you, son! Ha! I'm sorry. Okay, I was just You did to... nothing! You thought nothing! The elders of this land are not people that you can double cross that way. Especially Ichiyad. A word from him will send the whole thing to the south. Uh, Mom, nothing has happened yet. Relax, all right? His stubbornness is based on bias, and the elders saw through him. It doesn't matter if he's biased or not. The point is that he has a hold on your wings. They will turn you into a puppet. Oh, they say I in the throne. Do you think it's only the throne that is as risky? No including the management of the Duno Mining Corporation. They are all at risk, son. I know all of that, Mom. But you have to trust me. You have a son that no man can control. Mother, stop ramming it on his head as if it's entirely his fault. The man is no sense. 
He's only looking for loopholes in the system to, to try to get away from his punishment. And that is not right. It's not. I'll try to talk to him, even if it means cajoling him. Uh, mother, mother, please. I would really not want you to belittle yourself, um, you know, and get involved in all of this the way you have presented it. Please, 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 please. Let me handle it. What would you do? Before being your mother, I am the queen. And it's in my position to protect your father's legacy which includes getting you on that seat and being in control of that corporation. Do you understand that, son? Honestly, my prince, I see nothing wrong in what you did. You did the right thing, trying to be fair to both parties. <clears throat> Apparently, but, um, J.D. still thinks that uh, that I'm wrong. There is something you must learn. Hardly does a leader accept that he's wrong. He is seeking for loopholes in the system to make you the bad person and not himself. Exactly what my sister said to me. <laughs> of course, you know he's right, don't you? <clears throat> it is only the king who has the power to pass such a judgment. And especially now that your coronation is just months away. The more reason I invited you here. You see, we cannot allow injustice in the land because the king is yet to emerge. That would be very wrong. I already discussed with Chief Ukaumado, and there is something we can do. Obuifi. My prince. I'm not going to pretend. I'm confused. I am confused and bothered. And like always, I have come to you, the priest of my land, to seek solution to all of these problems. What troubles the Okosis of Duno? What is it that worries the great mind? of the Omitom Kembo Nambu of Duna Kingdom. Is it the issue of Ichi AD? Or could it be the nightmare that has been keeping your highness awake all this night? So you know. My dear Prince, Nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing. The gods know everything. The gods see everything. The gods can do anything, anytime, anyhow they want to do it. I don't understand the way you. Why does it feel like I'm losing control of the center? Oh, because the world itself is hanging on a tight rope. Yes. There is no balance in human life as it is. The only time you can talk about a balance in human life is when there is a harmony, a balance between both ends. And I'll tell you this, there is no such time. No moment like that in human life. Obuifi, oh, I don't understand. Battles and wars will be waged. Betrayers will be felt. Pain, anger. Even the brightest smile can kill. But in all, I want you to beware of the man that is wearing the mask. Who is this man behind the mask? 
Oh, that is for you to figure out, my prince. Well, Rebecca, I must have to say that I am surprised. I'm surprised seeing you in my compound because, uh, to the best of my knowledge, you have not come here for a very long time. So I am wondering, to what do I owe this visit? H.A.D. I came to talk about my son. He is not just your son. The king named him Mobodo. That means the son of the whole town. He belongs to everybody. So I can equally say that he is my son. What is it with him that you want to talk about? I didn't come to apologize uh, for the punishment the prince, my son, passed on you. Because in honesty, you deserve it. Really? Uh, yes, but um, I must admit that he went overboard, suspending you from the cabinet. And on that, um, I apologize. Okay, then. I will say thank you for coming. And um, equally, I will, I will say I appreciate your apology. But uh, should I believe that this subtle threat that is beneath your presentation is actually real? It's a day. You know that uh, aside the king, I don't know, you are one man that is highly respected in this kingdom. Any word from you will be taken seriously. So by that, automatically you are confirming to me that you are bothered indeed about what I said. Let me tell you something, Queen Rebecca. When it comes to the administration of the businesses of the kingdom, like the corporation, he has the right, and nobody should double into that. But when it comes to the core issue of who sits in cabinet or who is suspended from cabinet, he has no power. He has no right whatsoever to double into that. We are the people who will give him the power, and we have not given him the power yet to decide on council, on cabinet. So I don't know where he derives his power to say that he has suspended somebody. Let me tell you something. If he actually wants to have that power to so ban or do whatever he likes with men in the cabinet, he must work with me. How do you mean my son work with you? Dabbling into his personal life. No, no, no. We're talking about business. We're talking about being in charge. Talking about kingdom politics. If he must have to be relevant in the politics of this kingdom the way you want him to be, then he is going to do what I have just suggested. That is the only way he can get me 100%. Then I will no longer be just the principal figure in cabinet for him. I will become his in-law, Okogo. And then I am going to position him in a way that nobody can push him in this kingdom. He is going to become unstoppable. Awanya or Kulebo. It's your idea. Um, I will think about it. I know you will think about it, and that is actually why I suggested that to you. Uh, but let me tell you something, my dear. What I have just suggested is the only way. When they move so fast, <laughs> I move even faster. She of them. I am a D indeed.
Do you think she will buy this? Ah, is she your former? I don't just think. I know she's going to buy it. That, that woman understands this game more than everyone in this land. Really? Yes. She wants her family to remain relevant forever. And I that. I am convinced in my heart that she is ready to do everything possible to make sure they remain relevant. If I turn that way, she will do it. <laughs> but the prince himself, do you see him as someone who is ready to marry a lady without dating the lady? Forget about the prince. The mother is going to break him. Really? Yeah, of course. She understands this game as I told you already. And therefore, she is going to make him understand how important this is. He is going to do the needful. Then, this cause for celebration. No, no. Chief of Oma, we must not bring in any celebration yet. Of course. We don't want to lose this type of plan. Even my wife, the way I presented this thing, she is not ever going to suspect that I am the brain behind this. Everything will be handled professionally until we achieve what we are planning to achieve. JD! Chief of Are you so? Or if not, right? Mother, what have you done? What did you do? I can't. I can't understand this. I mean, I don't want to believe it. Mother, what have you done? Oh, this isn't true at all. It's not. I'm sorry, my children. I can't tell you more than I've already told you. Mother, what were you thinking apologizing to that man? He committed a crime for which he's been punished. I mean, you don't go bowing to him. For crying out loud, we are royalty. We bow to no one. That is where you're wrong, Harrieta. One revolt from any of those chiefs. We will find ourselves crumbling to find our feet. Ah, it is true we are born in the lineage of kinship. But don't forget that it's all about the people. Still, the people are the royalty that we are. Still yet, mother. Yeah, um, Harrieta, I, I think I agree with mom. We are here because of the people. I don't know if you know this. I remember 12 years ago when uh, the elders in cabinet put forward a proposition to put an end to kingship resting just with one family in Dunu. But we, as a people, adopt rotational kingship. Father fought. He fought very, very hard that kingship remains in this household and right now I think that we'll have to be careful. It looks as if we're sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Just one sleep from us. Just one sleep. These men, these frustrated old men might come forward again with that proposition. I, I think I see where mother is coming from. And that will never happen. That is why I've decided to tie their tongues down. What are you talking about, Mom? Did you just say what I think I heard? You heard me right. Your ears are not deceiving you, Ichi. Well, I think you have to make it very clear. Let them understand what you are saying here. I think what she's saying is that the prince is going into a relationship with my daughter, right? You're right, Ichi. Um. Joy is the only daughter of uh, Ichedi who is still single. Uh -huh. But I think she's still young for the prince. Hey, 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 hey. You see, do be very mindful of the kind of things you say. How can you say that? That Joy is still very young. Have you seen her lately? My daughter is more than qualified to even marry to the king. Come here, Akore. Why are you She's not young. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Joy is of a marriageable age. And uh, she has found favor in my son's eyes. My son has decided to marry her. So I want to play that uh, as we are in preparation for the coronation, we should also be preparing for the marriage. Good. Yeah, good. And uh, the way you are going, 
most likely I'm going to make you the chairman of the planning committee. Oh yeah, oh yeah, thank you, Marak. It's good money. Ah, mother no. Cannot really face this happening. No, we don't. Ichi AED is a one-man riot squad that can destroy us. Playing politics and having him by our side is a plus sum. The fact that he initiated all of this makes me even more curious, mother. Son, he extended an olive branch to us. The least we could do is to accept it. What would it not for anything? Uh, for peace. After all, um, the girl in question is not ugly. She's a beautiful girl. And from my findings, she didn't live her life badly. So you won't have a problem getting her in a family way. Uh. Mother, you're giving so many interpretations to this and bringing so many dimensions to it. But need I remind you, Mother, Ichi-AD is not a good man. You know how much and how long he has hated this family. Even when Father was alive, he never, not for one day, did he hide his hatred for this household. What would I know? You see, there's this wise saying that you have never considered as a way forward. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So I've just started it. What about the innocent young lady that we're dragging into this? A sinner can't give birth to a saint. Oh, but at least we have leverage over the shady in case he tries to play smart. He can't destroy this house without destroying his daughter. What other better strategy can there be than this? <laughs> oh dear. What did you just say? You heard me. That our daughter is what? Our daughter Joy is getting married to Prince Mobudo of Duno Kingdom. <laughs> Are you sure you're not pulling my legs? Why should I be pulling your legs? <laughs> so you're serious? Get prepared. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You are mad. Prince. Finally. Hey. <laughs> A touch of good thing is happening in my family. My daughter, my AUJ daughter, is going to be the wife of the prince. Hey! Yeah! Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, come on. Where are you going? Come on, that's with me now! Are you happy? Hey! What's the progress with the Princess of Doom? You did not hear me your words. I haven't been able to father. Shut up. You told me you were working on it. I never said so. You have been the one insisting. Hi, Kevin. Am I full of what you say? I'm telling you the truth. For now, nothing has happened. You boy. You are seriously trying my patience. What's wrong with you? Hey, Father, he will do it. I was the one who asked him to take a break from everything. Give the princess some time before you take a move. In that way, she won't feel bothered or suffocated. We are slacking, Mama. We don't have much time. I have invested three years, three whole years in this mission, trying to get this boy into the hearts of those people as far as he can get. 
I don't have much patience. I want answers. And answers you will get, Father. Trust me on that. Good answers. I understand the reason and the importance of this marriage to this family. But it seems there is something you are not telling me. Yes, why not open up everything to me? Stop allowing your mind to wander. You know everything. I know everything you always say. I know everything, yet I know nothing. I gather he lives abroad. He's asking after me. Why not? Give him a number. You will need also to remind him that I am not one of those elders that compromise themselves because of money. Yes, if he must call me, he should know exactly what to tell me. It's all right. I will be waiting for his call. Chief Clement, <laughs> a very good man you are. Mm -hmm. You know of our great kingdom. In there is half a million naira. It is for you. What for? I merely heard of the young man who came back to Juno from overseas, sharing money to our people. But I am surprised I have become a beneficiary. Oh no, you see, you are one man I've always respected. Even while I was away, I always heard of your good deeds. Your great exploits in our land. Let's just say this is my little way of appreciating you. A token. And to further ask for your help with something. Which is? Anyway, if it is anything I can do, just consider it though. Most definitely. I'm sure it is something you can do. Enjoy your refreshment. You'll be hearing from me soon. It's all right. Prince, my prince, the noble son of my land, who has endeared himself to the young of might. Thank you very much. You will live forever. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, that's that's not a problem. <laughs> um, I'm not um, certain that I know who your friend here is. Oh, he's uh, Afonso Sukeke, a son of my very good friend, Wando of blessed memory. Not sure I know. I know. I know that name. Oh, well, my friends, you wouldn't know. Vaguely from maybe when we were young. He's his son. He left this community some several years ago. Mine is actually, you know. Oh, yes. You're right. Mine is. How are you, Alphonse? I'm very good, Johannes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. You're welcome. You see, I've always wanted to meet you in person. You see, I've heard a lot about your great wonders. After the passing of your father, the king, I must tell you, the great people of Dunu and Diaspora have never sang praises of any king as they sing of you, even though you haven't ascended the throne yet. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alphonsus. Thank you. That is quite heartwarming, I must tell you. Uh, you know, I have always said that you don't have to have all the power to do the right thing. You might as well begin to drill with the little that you have. Uh, it's a lot of work going on here, but I believe that with the cooperation of everyone in Duno, we'll be just fine. Uh, my coronation, by the way, is in two months, to be exact, the 16th of August. I'd like to have people like you there. Very well then, I will be there. And I'm sure so many great sons of Duno will be there to grace your day. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. However, oh no, um, 
I'd like to know uh, why your friend here uh, has been wanting to see me. Well, Your Highness, you see, I'll go through the chase. I... Hi, bro. How are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Good. Hi. I said hi. Yeah. Hi. I have never seen anything as beautiful as you are, Princess Rieta. <laughs> Please forgive my manners. Everyone. Welcome to your family. I mean, your present and your future family. On behalf of my entire family, I say welcome to you, Joy. Thank, thank you, Your Majesty. You know me? Mother, come on. Don't make things too difficult for the young woman. Who doesn't know you in Dono? Ah, protocols. Rias adhere to protocols. Oh. It's okay, um, Joy, this is Harrietta, my daughter, and this is Tumobudo, my son, your groom too. Greetings, my prince. <laughs> Greetings, Joy. You're welcome. Thank you, my prince. Make yourself at home. Exactly, make yourself at home. Hmm? There's no need to be shy. In a few weeks, you two will be living together forever. Stop being coy and get to know each other. Mom, we're not um, being coy. As you can see, uh, we don't know each other so well yet. <sighs> that could be amended, son. Oh, I, um, I think you two should have a private chat. Or oh, maybe you take her out for a walk. Or better still, take her to your room so that she could see how clean and handsome my son is. Your Majesty. Yes. Actually, I think a walk would suffice. That's if you don't mind. Hey, Judge, please. Don't say that. This is the way of Duno making a suggestion. Shady. Do not push her into making a decision. She is a young lady. A young lady should be allowed to make her own decisions. I agree with you, Mother. Whatever it is that a young lady wants is, is okay by me. Joy, come on, walk with me. Good. I'm not going to have a You have my permission. <laughs> this way, please. <laughs> Are you feeling what I am feeling here? Mm. <laughs> they will make a wonderful couple. You are right. You wish us right. Yes. Mother, I'm hungry. Listen. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about my mother. Okay, I'm sorry about all of that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, no, I'm fine. Besides, she didn't do anything wrong. Oh, no, she did. She did. She had you in a corner. 
Okay, she didn't allow you to take time to decipher the situation for yourself. I know your people must have told you first time what's going on, but you know, my mom was um, a bit too much for you, and I, I'm sure you didn't like the fact that she was throwing her weight and authority around. Huh? I'm fine, my friends. It's good. I, I, I brought you here so that you know we can talk and you know get off to a good start. I I don't understand what you mean by that. Oh, I I mean so that you can get to know me. I get to know you, you know. My friends, I already know you. Ah, no. You don't know me. What you know of me is what people have said of me. You know, a lot of people have opinion about others. Some people talk about me. They haven't even met me. They don't know me, you know. But this gives you a chance to get me. Very much acquainted with me. You get to know me first time. And I also get to know you. You know. What are your likes and dislikes? What are your aspirations? What are your fears? How much of your fears have you conquered? What are your dreams? You know. All of that. I'd like to know. Well... I'm Joy, it is. And I'm Prince Mobodo. Nice to be your acquaintance. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> you won't believe this. How did it go? The royal family has finally surprised me. Ah. I am telling you. <laughs> so where is that classless friend of mine? So what I had is true. My good friend, she's a former. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise having you here. I was actually... Oh, please keep your pleasant greetings. Keep it to yourself. Do you think I am here to partake in any stupid, sick alliance we have with the, the, the royal family? Listen, if you can calm down, I am going to explain exactly what is going on. Explain what? Explain what, J.D.? This has clearly shown where your loyalty lies. You and I know we have been fighting to get this one thing right. Now, just look at it. A slice of cake from the golden cake has changed you that you have to sell your conscience. Hey, 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 hey. You shut up, Chief of Foreman. If I were you, I am going to be very, very mindful of the kind of things I say. How dare you budge into my living room and you're shouting at me? Who are you? I am still in the deal. They are still more kind. You only see this in the of Tulu Kingdom. How dare you raise your voice on me? Oh, I will raise my voice on you and nothing will happen. Now, just look at you. Just look at you, HJD. Just a little power can change you. Yes. You see that thing you call little power? It has given me the kind of strength that you will never have. Oh, yes! You see, my daughter Joy, she is getting married to Prince Wobodo. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. In fact, you cannot stop it and nobody can stop it. You are supposed to know that that has put the last nail on the coffin of your revolution. So you should be able to stop. Because as it is, the royal family, Prince Wobodo and all of them, they have my support now. Okay, man. Descendant of Issa. This is how you sell your bet right. And you will keep selling until you have nothing to sell. You know, when I look at you, do you know what I see? I see a very useless kettle calling the pot black. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? You're welcome. Even though nobody welcomed you. But that welcome has expired. I want you to get out of this, my living room, man. Don't ever come back. Because if you try this nonsense again, you are, you are not going to like it. See my position. Now listen, have it at the back of your mind. This is not the last time you will hear from me. Okay. Very useless man. A fool who does not even know when to stop. Look at it. This very time that I'm getting so close to power, he wants to stop it. Nonsense. You know, try this thing again. Why is no brother, Kavunaya? How is she? 
Do you like her? What, what do you mean? Who? You mean a girl he has never met, but he's supposed to marry just to calm the nerves of some wolves and vultures vying for the control of the corporation and the throne. Harris, I know you don't like this, but this is out of our hands. How, mother? Really, how? I mean, for crying out loud, we are the royals here. We are not supposed to exercise authority on the people based on that. Harissa, we have a lot at stake here. We should tread cautiously. Cautiously? My foot! Mother, what are you saying? I wonder how you feel at home with all this. How you get all comfortable, mother? Okay, for instance, let's say that Prince Mwoboda, he has a relationship. He has a woman who he loves and plans to, to spend the rest of his life with. He should throw all that away, all because of this? Well, he doesn't have. What about do you? But look here, children. Believe it or not, this is the best option we have. Harriet, had it been you lowered your ego a little bit and got married to the richest man in the kingdom, we wouldn't be going through all this. Don't, mother. Do not spin this on me. Uh, okay, uh, please, that's enough, please, enough. What, but are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, mother. Enough, please. Uh, you two should please allow me to sort this thing out in my head. By myself. Without the both of you getting in my head, please. I wonder how this, this whole thing just came to place. This was your ego. Mother, Lower your ego a little please, bit. Please, please. Uh. Let's slide. What is the problem? Nine. What was the performer doing here? I don't understand. When did women start getting involved in men's meetings? My husband, please. Do not get this twisted. Hey, you are the one already twisting it. I don't know why you're asking about the men's meeting. Yeah? I know what I saw and what I heard. Okay. If you saw and you heard, whatever. Why are you still asking me? Castle Kawendi. What do you mean by that? So, I don't have right to ask about things I find uh, totally suspicious in my own house. Hey, hey, hey. Point of correction, Kiro. This place is not your house. This is my house. It's, it's mine too, by virtue of being your wife. No, your house indeed. What is your problem? What kind of business are you doing with Chief Oforma that he had to come here? Ranting and raving. That man was removed from the cabinet because he was causing chaos in Duno. Hey, you know what, Nkiru? I want to beg you with the name of whatever thing that you hold sacred. Please stop. Why, why, why are you saying what you don't know? I don't Cause, know. Cause, cause the question, do you know the reason they always remove people from that cabinet? Say what you know, my friend. I don't want to know what you are doing with him. But make sure none of your actions jeopardizes our daughter's future. Uh, remember there? There was a place I had wanted to go. I was just sitting here buying time. You can go to anywhere, wherever you want. But I'm begging you, please. Please, I'm begging you. Shall never end. Some people are looking at this life show. As in, eh? Who could have thought that this small girl, this little rat, as small as she is, will be the one to win the princess's heart? Ha! <laughs> win? She was personally handpicked by the queen herself. <laughs> Still doesn't go far to say how lucky she is. I really wish I knew how. If 
wishes were horses. You know the rest now. But that girl is too good. She is too good. Sometimes I wonder if Chifi D is truly her father. Because she's so different from the rest of her family. So different. As they say, one mother begs. But character differs. I just wish her the best. I wish I am lucky as she is. By this time next year, I will leave this village. Next year? This year, my sister, speak positivity to your life. This year, in fact, before this year ends, I will go. Your mates are getting married to the prince, and then you, in this village, you want to sit in this village till next year. Have you? I will leave this village and go and look for my own prince. Miko, let's go. This boy is not coming. Have you? Everything go. Like you said. Man, come to think of it. From the way you sound, it appears to me that you actually believe the marriage between Princess and the Chedi's daughter will hold. It is going to hold, my brother. Are you happy about it? I can't say I am happy with it, but at least it is good. This will reduce the little fury that has been brewing for so long. We cannot allow this kingdom go through what happened about 12 years ago. I know I just would have been glad if any other family had been picked and not a Chedi's daughter. Um, I believe the prince knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's a religious man, always consulting the gods before any action. I have always trusted his judgment. Uh, well, what can we do then to support him? Exactly. I will leave you now to go, because you cannot afford to make such an important uh, meeting. Huh? Of course. Okay. Uh, when I'm back, I will come to your house. It's all right. No problem. Send me word to your family. All right. See you then. I have never seen anything as beautiful as you are, Princess Rieta. Sorry to disturb you, my princess, but you have a guest. A guest? Yes, my princess. Okay. I'll be there shortly. Exactly have you come here? Hey, hold it! Hold it right there! What have you come here to do? What does it look like? I came to see my girlfriend. Ex! Point of correction. Ex-girlfriend. I'm not sure we got off on that foot. For you to always come here to harass me. You know I can't possibly do that. I love you, Herita. Oh please, I don't want to hear that. Come on, Herita. Please, I am trying. I'm still begging you, accept me back. Give me a second chance. As in, give us a second chance. Kevin, why do you always like to, to behave like an idiot? I don't, I don't like them around me, honestly. I don't. For you, I can take anything. Idiot, stupid, foolish. I am not complaining. But the truth is, I love you. I want you back. Please. You mean so much as to cheating on her with numerous girls and you flaunted in her face. Hmm? Who the hell are you? And what the hell are you doing here? And who do you think you are? How dare you talk to my guests like that? I invited him here. I want him to be here. And if there's anyone who should leave this place, that should be you. Erita, I'm not talking to you. But since you are still on the page, let's iron it out. Have you been seeing him? I mean, 
Is he the reason why you have been adamant all this while? Have you been shacking him behind my back? Are you stupid? Have you lost your sanity? Look at you. You, you this cheap man whore of a man. You think I'm like you? Hell no. He is a perfect gentleman. Who waited for me to, to get off that sick relationship with you before he made a move? Yes. He is. I am that man you can never match up to. Now listen up, young man. I want you to leave this palace and never come back. If I ever see you five miles close to the princess, I promise you I will leave you to my boys and I will do to you just what they want. And I assure you, anyone who knew you before will never recognize you after what. Now get out. Erita, it's not over between us. We will still discuss about this. Yes, but not with a dead party. Young man, nobody try Yancy's my calibrity and remain the same. Yes. Because my frequency is on a high tension wire. Ma wagon at 13 and B, Jilly. But they are not the same. Yes. Don't start what you cannot finish. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, I made some inquiries about you and I was told that you are a fool. Guess what? I just confirmed that. Now get out. I am leaving because I don't want to create a scene here. Invested three years, three whole years in this mission, trying to get this boy into the hearts of those people as far as he can get. I don't have much patience. I want answers. What else must I do? Yes, I am. But you don't look alright. Trust me, I'll be fine. It's just that Kevin and I, we had a very rough breakup. And he has refused to understand that it is over between us. He has refused to accept that. So, is he in any way harassing you? Something like that. He's been too persistent. He really wants to talk to me. But I told him already, I do not want to have anything to do with you, yet he wouldn't listen. But I don't want you to have anything to do with him anymore. You don't, you don't want me to? Well, it's fine. If you don't want me seeing him anymore, then it's fine. Besides, it's not like I want to really see him anyways. Now we can talk about sharing up. You know, I don't like to see you like this. It talks at my soul. Any suggestion? Well, I've been to some nice places since I got back. I would like to take you to one or two of them. But I'd rather be where you want to be. Somewhere to take your mind off this ugly incident. So why don't you surprise me by taking me to your own place? One of the beautiful places you've been? Then surprise it shall be. Ah, shall we, darling? Like this? I don't mind. I'm oh. not complaining. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, please come. Um, call Marietta for me, please. I'm sorry, my prince. The princess Marietta is not in the house. 
is not. I'm not aware of it. Where did she go? I don't know also what happens. The the fact is she was actually not in a good mood after Mr. Kelvin left. Kelvin was here? What did he what did he say to you? I don't know my prince, but I just know it wasn't good at all. What did he want? But thank God Mr. Alphonsus was here too. What? Alphonsus? Alphonsus okay. What the hell were those two men doing here when nobody was around? What did they want? What is going on? That is it, man. I can't keep fighting for a girl that doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Yes. You know, you know, you pushed that girl to the wall. You stressed her beyond her limit. That was why she became so hostile towards you. What the heck is even going on? Yes, I am a total piece of shit. And so was she. She's not as angelic as she portrayed herself to be. We all have our flaws. Yes, we all have our flaws. But you should have controlled yours. Who knows? Maybe by now you would have been with the woman you love so much. When she was busy shacking another man. Oh. I, I don't understand. What do, you, what do you mean? Wait, are you in any way saying that she was cheating on you? Does it matter? When she was busy denying your physical satisfaction, she was getting it from someone else. Yesterday, she threw it to my face. Man, I'm done. I can't keep fighting for something that is not mine. Yes, for how long will I do that? And don't mind. What are you doing here? I came to see the one I love. Listen, when you're before a man like me, you don't use the word love. Because you don't know what it means. I love your sister. And I expect you to know that I mean every word that comes out from my mouth. Oh no, you don't. You don't even know what you say. When I look at you, you know what I see? I see a little boy who's wasted my sister's time and played with her emotions. But then I allowed it for so long. You know why? I wanted to see it to the end. So that I can make an appropriate judgment. You're not sure. You have already judged me. Yes. And concluded that I am not worthy to have your sister. You are not worthy to have any normal woman. Talk more of a princess. You are a scammer. And you are not welcome here. Leave at once. Why are you doing this? Can you stand on your tentacles and swear that you have never cheated on any woman before? Can you? Guards! Your Majesty. I want you to throw this young man out of this palace at once, and if he resists, get the other guards and treat him like a common criminal. Master, out. Move, my man! Respect yourself. Move it, please. Don't touch. Or I will disconnect your battery now. Move! Move! You messed up again. I tried. How much, Kevin? How much? Father, it's not as easy as you think. Oh, it's not. Now you know. I made you a household name in that palace. But what did you do? You allowed your ways with women to get too notorious. Father, I am sorry I failed you. I am sorry. But the way you are taking this matter, you are taking this matter too far for a mere marriage. Father, what if I can't marry her? 
There are 1,001 girls I can marry out there to give a grandchild. Oh, shut up. You think this is about some marriage and grandchildren? Then, Father, what is it? What is it you're not telling me? Do not raise your voice at me, boy. I'm still your father. And most importantly, that mafia that even the mystic lords cannot tame. Every dime that made you what you are, Kevin, I made it. I made you, Kevin. So I can do and I can undo. I am shaking. Father, I'm used to your threat. Trust me, you cannot do me anything. I am your only son. Forget about all these your mistakes, mafians. Tell me what I need to know. What is it about marriage with princess? Tell me what I need to know, father. Father, he is right. If he must be on board with us, he needs to know everything. I mean, everything. You have got to be kidding me. I am not. This is as serious as it gets. This is arrant nonsense. This is bullshit. I can't believe I threw away three years of my life. Three good years of my life building a relationship that has been doomed to fail from the start. Because of what? A mere misconception. It's no misconception, boy. It is the truth. That mining corporation is ours. Taps from our land of Amanako. Everything they are enjoying is ours. I don't care. I don't bloody care. No one, no one from Amanako have the nerves to fight for their rights. Now I sacrifice my future, my happiness for them. Damn. You think they didn't fight? Wars were waged. Men sacrificed their lives. But because they had more money, it was taken to the court of law. And the court ruled it in their favor. You don't know how many of our men that were rendered landless because of their action. Really? I don't believe you. But supposing what you are saying is true, why didn't the king of Amanaku and the king of Dunu sort themselves out? Why involving you? We weren't involved. We volunteer. As volunteer workers? As a charity organization? What is my business in it? There is no Bullshit! You are telling me you are risking the affairs of this family for a phone game while the king of Amanaku Kingdom and his council are in their various and enjoying themselves? We volunteered because of what that idiot did to your sister. Who hurt you? And what did he do to you? Nobody, you worry too much. Maybe she's just having fun. So you know it's been long she went out like this. Ever since her breakup with Kevin, I've been so worried about her. The way she channeled all her energy towards work. Just calm down. Mother, it's almost 10 p.m. She's not back home. I hear you, I hear you. I'll do what you've said, but when I'm sure that she's safe, okay? Well, I'm glad you did. Well, I always aim to please. I feel good, like very good. I wish I could do this every day. Hey, that could be arranged. All you have to do is put the call across and I will be there to blow your mind. <laughs> as beautiful and tempting as it sounds, I would be selfish bringing you out to spend time with me, knowing full well that you have other things to do with your time.
Dom, I don't want you to ever feel worthless of my time. As a matter of fact, I am willing to do anything. I mean, spend my last time just to have another day with you. Thank you, officers. Good night. Good night. This time of the night. When did this one start? Ha! Huh, please, I'm a mature woman and I can comfortably take care of myself. Where is this babysitting attitude coming from? Babysitting? Really? I come back here and I am told that you have left the palace without telling anyone where you're going. I asked more questions and I was told that Kevin came here, pissed you off, messed your day up, and then Alfonso showed up and you followed him out of the palace without one guard, not even one. And you see I'm babysitting you? I'm looking out for you. Well, to answer your question, my brother, I have never hired any guard all my life. Those who hired them are the people that need their services and not me. I don't need it. For quietness and peace, I do not need any of it. I am talking about your safety and security. You go out with a man that you don't even know well enough. Someone you're getting to know and you don't think that you need security. That is what you should care about, my brother. Not the other way around. I may have allowed father cage me all my life. But no, brother, I will not let you do that to me. Because you're not my father. You are my brother. And there's a thin line between a brother and a father. Totally different. Please. I mean, I should be allowed to live my life freely. Please. If you will excuse me. I'm tired. I need to freshen up. Please. Princess Henrietta is a crucial authority in the management and control of the Duno Mining Corporation that is sitting on our land. And because of that, I must make her my wife? Having her as your wife will lead to trust. And when you have all her trust, we can easily manipulate things and make them sign away the corporation without even knowing it. Everything was perfectly worked out. I, 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 I messed up, right? Yes, you did. And I don't think you were getting her back ever again. She's been too clever for her own good. And that is why I wanted to speed up your marital plans. Then the king died, and everything had to be put on hold. Um, Dad, I think um, I'll have to try one more time. Yes, I'll have to try again. Yes. She's not a fool, Kelvin. If you couldn't make her fall in love with you when you had the chance to, what makes you think she would do that now that you have blown away all your chances? So, what do we do? What's the next line of action? You don't have to blame me totally. I was not told on time. Had it been I was told, I would have played the game well and better, yes. Mm, I, I don't want to go into all that now. I, I have to think of something. I really have to think of something, but I just need a little time. It was a long time ago. It doesn't hurt as much as it did then. I am sorry. I am so sorry for being a jerk and an idiot. I was so blind not to have seen that something like that happened to you. Please, I am sorry. No. I am not mad at you at all. Besides, it's not your fault. You don't know. Father and I wanted to keep it that way. Our family had been through the worst moment in life. And I don't want to be another reason for worry. 
but you shouldn't have gone through all that alone. You know, I will always stand by you. Yeah. That was why not telling you was a priority. I feared you'd put him in the hospital if you had found out. Oh, but we ended up in coma for sure. Well, let that be after we must have exposed him. Right then. Can I can I see his picture? Yeah, sure. Wow. He's so cute. Look okay. after the family. the most beautiful girl in the world doing today? She's definitely fine. Thanks for asking. And how are you? Well, I'm fine. I just um, finished my morning activities and I'm waiting for breakfast. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten that you're a very serious businessman. Oh. <laughs> so what about you? I'm alright. I'm getting ready to leave for work. Oh, I forgot you love your job more than any other thing. That's a quick comeback. Well, I do not love my job more than anything, but I definitely love my job. I was just saying anyway. Um, you see, I've been meaning to ask you something. Um, will you be available by tomorrow? I'm sorry to ask, but... Uh... No, for so shut up. Already. Shut up and tell me why you want to clear my schedule. Well, a friend of mine is getting married tomorrow at tomorrow. Is this a social gathering? Oh yes. Um I I don't I didn't mean to bother you, but it wouldn't be bad to have you by my side tomorrow. Pick me up tomorrow morning in the palace. Really? Yes. I know you want me to be around you. And I know that's gonna kind of so if you don't mind, pick me up tomorrow morning. Since my presence will make you happy. Of course it will make me happy. Thank you very much. Well listen, I'm sorry I had to act you now. I should have waited till dinner. It is fine, I'm not complaining. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry yourself. I'll talk to you much later. You yeah, have a nice day. Bye then. And how's that? <laughs> Now you have to wait to see how I and the princess will walk your day. <laughs> uh, I'd like to have a word with you. Can I join you? Why not? Sure. Uh, How are you? Fine. I've come to speak with you because I... because I owe you an apology. I know I crossed the line with the way I acted. I shouldn't have. And for that, I am sorry. It's okay. I realized you were just being an older brother that you are, looking out for me. Yes. Looking out for you. I hope you see through my actions. I know that I just want to look out for you. I just want you to be careful. Yeah. You know, to tell you the truth, believe it or not, that's protective side of yours that night really made me boast in assurance that no one can ever hurt me when you're around. See, Mugodo, I'm really glad to have you as a brother. You are truly the son of his father. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It actually feels good to hear that. 
Thank you. You're all grown. You've grown to a very beautiful sister of mine. But I can't marry you. Neither can I hold you back. But I can protect you. Eh? From vultures. <laughs> uh, please. I need you to be careful. Very careful. Yeah, bro. All right. Given your exposure and your beauty, it's normal that men will lock around you. My problem is that most of these people show up here in sheep's clothing. They don't mean what they say. Right? What they declare to lay on the table is not what they mean from their heart. And I don't want you falling victim of blind trust like you did with Kevin. That was an ugly experience. It was, bro. But do not worry yourself. I'm perfectly all right. And for the hundredth time, I will be fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. I will take your word for it. Be careful. Good afternoon. Where are you going? I I went to the market. You went to the market? Yes, my friend. At this time of the day, the heat is too much. Why would your mother send you out at this time? Why? Because I and my family need to feed. We are not like a family that that will get anything you want once you're out of stock. I, I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you right now. It's okay, I understand. I mean, you um, going to be my wife in a few months does not mean that your life has to change overnight. So I get it. It's okay. It's just that the sun is too much and it's really not nice. You know what? Get in the car. Let me take you home. Okay? Eh? Get in the car. Let me help you. Ah, my prince. This is not a good idea. Why? Because of what people will think. That kind of thinking is not good. As a matter of fact, I really don't care. There are rumors all over the place. You know, when the announcement was made, they were getting together, so it's okay. They can talk while you get out of the sun. Come on, get in the car. So, you're here. I still can't believe that you brought me home. Thank you. <laughs> Come on now, stop thanking me. Uh, we're getting to know each other and I want us to be as open to this as we can. Uh, I understand what that means. Thank you again. You're welcome. You know, put your number here. That way I can call you, have my number, and then we just communicate. You need anything, you let me know. Okay. That's it? Yes. I'll call you. Certainly.
good afternoon. What am I doing? Don't, good afternoon, me. Don't you know that you are about getting married to the prince and you are following men? Which men are you talking about? Okay. You thought I did not see that white car that dropped you out, out, outside the gate right now? No, that was the prince. The prince? Yes. He saw me on my way back from the market and he decided to bring me home. Oh, the prince dropped you. <laughs> I'm happy. Just so happy. Mother, I am not happy. I am not. Oh my gosh. Why would you have such impression about me? It's not fair. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was a prince. <laughs> that means you don't even trust me. You don't know what I can do. Mm, it's okay now. <laughs> you mean the prince dropped you? Oh. Yes, why are you so excited? Ah. Hi, mommy. I'm wearing my beauty off too. Mom, um, take a very good look at me. How do I look? Gorgeous. Like always. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Uh, can you not tell me where you're off to? Actually, I'm off to see a friend. Oh, a friend? A friend that I know of? Trust me, mommy. There are some certain things you do not know about me. But not to worry. I can take good care of myself. It's a duty of a mother to take care of her children. It's not a job. So I know, mommy, but even if you do not trust me, at least trust the fact that he can take good care of me. Oh, mm -hmm. is it he? Oh, God. Mommy, please, I gotta go. So when am I going to meet him? Mommy, there's no time. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you. I love you. Kiss, kiss. Bye. What the hell is wrong with this girl? It is very clear that you are hiding something from me and it is not good at all. I am not hiding anything from you. I mean, why would I hide something from you? You should be telling me. Because you are the same person that, that told me in this house there is nothing going on between you and the princess. So I do not understand. Tell me what is going on. So because I told you that, I don't have the right to change my mind. Is this so? You are one friend that I know inside out. You hardly change your mind. And when you do, there must be a strong compelling reason. Now tell me, what is the reason why you are hiding something away from me? I want to know, tell me. Mr. Man, please go and get me the pan wine you brought from Osili. That is why I'm here. I'm not here to face any interrogation. Did you get me? Okay, you're going to drink. Hmm? But then, you, Kelvin, must tell me exactly what I want to hear. I'm coming. Friends, no matter how close they are to us, there are some certain things we don't need to share with them. Yes. The more he tries to hide it, the more clear it becomes that he's trying to hide something away from me. Why do you find it difficult to trust your sister? She is a woman. And I believe that she knows what is good for her. Oh, that is where you're wrong, mother. That is where you are wrong. The woman in the center of all of this is not just any other woman. She is a princess. Henrietta is a princess of Duno Kingdom. And so what? So because I'm a princess, I should abandon all the things that make me happy. Right? I mean, what, what is all this? 
I cannot live your life. Apart from it, Henrietta, I have not asked that you live my life. No. I am saying that you live a life that is worthy of the position that you occupy as a princess of this kingdom. Alphonsus is not good for you. He is not good, obviously. That is because you reached that conclusion. Mom, I need a break. I need a break from all this. It's okay. No, but calm down. I've asked your sister to invite this young man for dinner. See, I'll get to know more about him when we sit. Ah, you have just proven to me, Mother, that you really do not know schemers. Schemers, when they come to you, they are cool, calm, and collected. They calm, looking nice, sweet, real, innocent, and confident. You don't see them coming, Mother. Alphonsus is a schemer. Hmm. I won't take this. I mean, this is the climax of it all. Mother, I cannot sit here and watch him call my man names. I cannot. Uh, Excuse me. Harrietta. Mother, stop encouraging her. Stop encouraging her with this man. Alfonso is not good for her. Trust me like you have always trusted me. Mother, my gut feeling rejects this man. The negative energy that he brings, my spirit repels. Give me time and I'm going to prove it to you. Alphonsus is not good for Henrietta. What is it, your highness? What is it that troubles your mind? I am the only one, so talk to me. I'm not happy, you know. I'm not happy at all. My prince, I am here to give you a listening ear. You know I always am. My sister has changed. She has changed completely. Changed? The princess? How? In every way. In every way you can think of, you know. My sister no longer comes to work regularly. She. She can't even concentrate. She spent so much unnecessary time with a stranger you brought here. So how is that a problem? You know, it is a problem. She is completely distracted. I have never seen her that way before. Not even with Kevin. My prince, I don't see what or where the problem is coming from. If she is spending so much time with Alfonso, doesn't that mean his intention towards her was pure from the start? What intentions? Alphonsus came home wholly for the princess's sake. What? My prince, he told me himself that he made it his mission to come home and seek the princess out. Once he got the news that the princess was single again. My prince, I think he aims to marry her. So I don't see where the problem is here. If he's making her happy, and showing his intentions clearly. Why is everyone calm about this? Why? Why am I having this feeling? Why don't I feel the same peace and calmness with the thought of this guy? Why am I uneasy? This doesn't add up at all. There is something wrong with this guy. I can't see it, I can't feel it, but others cannot. Why? Why am I the only one being paranoid about this guy's presence? Why? Darling, why are you like this? You've been like this ever since you got here. Of course you know I don't like to seem like this. What would you expect me to do? What would you have me do? My brother is being a torn on my flesh. I do not know why he doesn't want to understand the fact that I want to be with you. That is what I want. He is my family. He should understand that. He should be there for me. He should support me when I need him and not the other way around. I don't know why... 
I don't even know how to put it. Oh, darling. In a very twisted way. I think he's just being a big brother. That's why he's being overprotective. But I don't even need that. I do not need him being overprotective towards me. All I need is his love, care and support. He should support the man I want to be with. He should. I have that right. I understand, but um, I think we should give him some more time. Yes. I mean, I, I don't think I'll be comfortable with my sister becoming an item with some guy she barely knows. What are you talking about? But I know you. I know you too well. <laughs> Why are you even sounding like him? Well, because I'm trying to see things from his own perspective. I mean, <clears throat> to unmax why he has been too protective. It's annoying. It's really annoying and it has gotten up to here. But nonetheless, I believe your brother loves you very much. Just like every other brother should. I mean, if you were my sister, I will protect you. But it's not right. He doesn't even know you too well, yet he he's judging you. Crucifying you in the worst way possible. I don't like it. But I think we should um, make amends there. How? I've met your brother in one or two occasions, strictly on business. I think it is time for me to meet him on a neutral ground. Where I'm not a businessman. Where I'm just a man who met a woman and fell in love with her. And yes, I am ready to make the best out of this. Aretha. I am in love with you. Yes, I am. I have never felt the way you make me feel. Mm. And I must tell you, I love this face of my life. Thank you so much, my darling. Thank you so much for making efforts to clear the air, even when you're not supposed to. You've made me a happy woman. And I truly love you. I love you too, and I'm glad I make you happy. Mm? Thank you for making me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? And what are you talking about? The princess is already a tool in my hand. Stop making effort to win her back, for she belongs to me. You lie! You lie! The princess can never belong to you. The princess does not belong and can never belong to a man without identity. The princess of Dulu can never belong to you. I don't know what mystic powers you feel you have, but do not put the offer of do not to test, for you are going to be crushed. <laughs> I see you have some gold. Back here calling me working. Please. What what is the meaning of this? Please give me the gist. What nonsense gist? What gist? 
No, does it mean you have become so jobless now? She performed. It's JD. Why are you looking angry? I have seen little of you these past weeks. I don't know why. I hope all How is that? I don't understand. You left your house to my house to come and ask me. I hope all is well. As in, you are now so jobless or what? What's going on? He looks as if you woke up from the wrong side of the bed. Well, I did not wake up from the wrong side of the bed. I actually woke up well. Fine. Let me tell you something, Chief Performer. Today is my daughter's engagement to Prince Mopodo. And uh, they are getting prepared. I wouldn't want anybody to ruin this engagement for my daughter. So I want you, the same way you came, I want you to leave. I understand that today is important to you. Believe it or not, it is also important to me. You know how I hold your family. I don't understand what you're doing here. But let me tell you something. I made it clear to you the last time that I have put the last nail on the coffin of your revolution. I don't want to be a part of whatever thing you are scheming. I am a new man now. The last thing we did, a lot of people lost their lives. Many people lost their property. It was no longer making any sense to me. And I stopped. Now I am working with the prince and the royal family. I made that clear to you. So I don't know why you are always coming here. Sounding as if we are still working together. We are no longer working together. My daughter is getting married today. Can you please leave us in peace? I know you changed it, but uh, a little talk, nothing more. Chief of I don't want to have any discussion with you. Give me a little time. Five minutes. Whatever thing you want to say, you have just five minutes to say it. As I said already, I don't want anything to ruin my daughter's engagement. What is it? No, I didn't hear you. What did you just say? JD, you heard me loud and clear. This is our best shot to get what we want. Are you, are you, are you out of your mind or something? No, you want me to allow my daughter to be dragged into this? Are you sick? You know, are you sick in the head? I am sick. Very, very sick. It is not that you are dragging your daughter to the wrong side. It is for the good of us. All she needs to do, get in there. Make sure she is not pregnant for the prince. The moment she help us get rid of the prince. The prince passes without an heir. Then I will take reign of the kingdom. Then everything will be for us. Chief oh. Forma, I don't know, should I clap for you? No, 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 just break it down for me. Buwali me buwali. Is it the throne that you are targeting? J.D. You and I know you want the mining corporation. Are you going to deny that? You want to dislodge them and have it. Are you denying it? See, before you are making that up and you know it. And you are very stupid to actually sit before me and say, and say that. Get on, get on, JD, I want you to listen to me. This family has enjoyed the monopoly of the revenue of this kingdom. It is time another family, another clan takes over. Remember, us is the oldest. So, if we do it, everybody wins. Let us assume that I understand your point. 
and I will be willing to do it because of what I represent. What makes you think I am going to allow my daughter be involved in this very devilish plan you have set up? J.D., I am the devil you know. I am better than the angel you do not know. In all honesty, I never knew this would work out. But here we are, with a beautiful wife with lots of promises. You can say that again, my princess. You're welcome. Thank you. My darling, you're welcomed once again into this noble family. And to tell you the truth, I don't see you just as a wife, but as a sister I never had. Thank you so much, my princess. And I really appreciate your kind gesture. You're welcome. Let us couple it now. I heard the good news. Congratulations. Kevin, what in God's name have you come here to do? Before everyone, I brought this back to you. Kevin, you heard my sister. What in God's name have you come here to do? You, you, you really must have a lot of gods showing up here to disrupt our little peace. Why are you here? You have hit me before for being in love with your sister. Are you going to do that again? Oh, yes. If need be, I will do so. Again, hear me. I don't know what your problem is, but my sister just made it clear that the both of you are done. Stop coming here. Respect her decision. Stay away from her. Do you hear me? You are no Saint Prince Mwobodo. In fact, you are more vicious than anyone I know. You are a green snake in a green grass. I wonder why all these men here are so blind to see you for who you really are. You are no fit to be the king. I mean, you don't have the potentials. You don't have what it takes to be the king of this great kingdom. How dare you speak to our next king that way? But I'm saying the truth! Kelvin. Really? You? I am disappointed in you. You had three years. Three good years with my daughter. Three years to prove yourself, but you failed. Why are you here throwing out words as if uh, it's someone's fault? It is your fault. And I will advise that you obey and respect my daughter's wish. I don't want you anywhere here. She said she doesn't want you. So get that into your thick skull and get out of this place. Her Majesty, you know I have big respect for your daughter. Yes, her wish has always been my command. Oh, please. <laughs> that is indeed laughable. The only thing you have ever cared about is your libido. Your wants. Your needs. You never cared about me. Never have you. For once you haven't. So what are you talking about? Tell me, what? But war unto you, because I have gotten another person. A man who is in every way many things that you're not. And I'm telling you to your face right now that I am done with you, Kevin. I am done. And I don't ever want you to disturb me again. Don't ever come to my house. Okay. Listen to me, young man. Don't you ever show your face here again. I swear to you by the gods that if I see you here again, you will have a lot of things to deal with. There will be consequences too much for you to bear. Out! Get out! Out! I don't understand. What does it mean by his sins? What is he talking about? Honestly, I don't know. But from the look of things, and from the way he sounded, I think he has so he has a lot of grudges against the prince. My thoughts exactly. But the hair around those two were not too good. But on a more serious note, I think the prince is the best man and king this kingdom will ever have. 
I never seen a royal so humble and accommodating. No, no, the man is good. Well, you are right. I think we are thinking much into this. I never doubted the prince for once. You don't have to be too hard on yourself. None of this is your fault. You did everything you could to protect her. It's just that I feel that I failed her. I saw this coming, I saw through that young man's charade of love towards my sister. I saw, I saw through it all. But she didn't listen to me, you know? <laughs> What's the steal is for the young man she's seeing now, I have a stronger negative feeling about him. But how do I approach her? How do I stop her from falling the second time? Do you see my dilemma? You know, what makes a difference between you and your father? Your resilience in making life a better place for your people. You make other people's problems yours. And with your wisdom, you solve them all. And just like always, I know the gods will give you the wisdom you require to solve whatever mystery there is. Thank you. Thank you for saying that to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now it is time for bed. Uh, sure, it is. Huh? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll just finish up my drink and then uh, get out of all of this. Have my shot and come join me. Okay? Fine. Let me help you with that. What? You know, I can do anything <laughs> for you. You flatter me too much. Stop it. <laughs> you know what? I'll be fine. Uh, I'll take care of myself. I'll be okay. If you said so. Yeah, I'll join you in a bit. What if I'm worried? I'm worried. I have I have this feeling, this vibe, as if something's something is wrong somewhere. I can feel it. How do you mean? I mean, I mean, what really are you talking about? What if you, I cannot describe it, but but the feeling is unnerving, as if Something is slipping through my fingers and I cannot do anything about it. My dear Prince, I did remember telling you sometime about a particular force about to besiege the palace. Where from, you look? There you go. Uh, <laughs> That is all you need uh, for all that is required for the offering. Uh, it's a show of appreciation to the gods for a successful royal funeral. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is your My prince. Yes. Thank you so much. I will take care of the rest. I will so arrange everything accordingly with time. I trust you. Right. <laughs> I'm a canary for what's known now. In your duty, you know, we're looking at the bomb of my job. Yes. Um, my prince. Yes. Omito. The Omito of Duno. You see, uh, 
You may not have an idea of how lucky, how fortunate our people are to have a person of your caliber as their prince. You see, you are a very good-hearted person. All you need to do is carry them along. Take their problems as your own personal problem. Thank you very much, Obufi uh, Amilo. Thanks again for their colleagues. I cannot take credit because I always do as the spirits direct. We leave the rest for the gods. Yes. You know, fashions do get old, big bro. I wonder when you're going to learn that. Wow, I'm sure some respect, Hereta. To what? Home. Huh. This one? Uh, no. It's not this one. He's not just any man, Hereta. Show sure respect. This man seated here right now is Omuifi Amilo, the great keeper of Amato, the deity of Dunu. Show some respect. There you go again. I mean, aren't you tired of this? Of being brainwashed by some moronic men who have blatantly refused to embrace civilization and technology. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, Aretha. That's fine. You don't believe in the gods, that's okay, but do not insult others who do. I don't see what's civil about insulting other people's religious beliefs. You don't do that. Show some respect. You see, I honestly do not know why so much money was spent on your education overseas. Honestly. Because it's so obvious that you can't think past the medieval age. I'm sorry, Wifi. I'm really, really sorry. Please, I apologize on her behalf. No, no, no don't bother yourself. My prince, Omolu Fula Melania, you cannot even get a job with the poor Gulu. Sit down. Hey. Just sit down. Come here. Omolu Fula Melania, and I kid have wrong with him. My prince, I am not bothered about all those. No. I have this advice for you. I want you to be very, very careful and watchful about your sister. I can't help but feel the power of evil dominance. Evil manipulation. Overtaking her. Enveloping her. Luring her in. That is what I can feel. What do you mean, Wavy? Oh, it is unclear. But definitely, definitely, there is a power. There is, there is, there is a force pulling a hold, not only to the royal family, but to the entire Dunu kingdom. And I advise you again. I want you to be vigilant. Be vigilant and calm. Well, that is it. The energy I'm talking about, a particular negative energy, so strong, it is even very, very close upon your household as we speak. The thing now is not just that a particular pull or hold from one angle, no. But from various angles, as many as possible angles. I don't understand, Obivia. <laughs> How do you mean? My dear Prince, things look alike, but they may not finally be the same. Certain decisions taken already 
though proven to be very, very effective and of course the best, might revolve around and turn out to come with repercussions. If you're confused, talk to me in clear times. Talk to me in details. I need your help. I need you to help me fight. I need to protect my family, my sister, the kingdom. With you. Please, I'm confused. My prince. Yes. Eke lolo eke. In human life, there is this division of labor. I with um, I am a priest. I am not a seer. Okoye Ejule is a well known seer in this land, even beyond there. So he could be not cool, he is in a better position to explain this to you. Wow, they really did a number on me. Yes, it hurts me the first time, but now I think I'm fine. I am good. I still don't understand. But okay, we'll be there. Why are you so adamant about this girl? Huh? Why are you back for this girl to the extent that you will sit beating because of her? Why? A lot of things. A lot. Especially getting to know how filthy they are. Yet they have the guts to point their fingers to someone else. Field? Yes. I, I don't understand. Can you explain? I make you won't understand. And when have I not understood anything you said to me before? Huh? Dave, you will be best friends. I will practically tell each other every single thing. So why are you provoking me by hiding things away from me? Eh? Since when? What is this big secret? I've got you questioning my loyalty. I am what? not questioning your loyalty. I know you're very loyal. But in this case, you won't understand. <laughs> God, really? All right, all right, if you insist. I will tell you everything. Yes. Okay, fine. He wants to unravel the mystery. Does the present dream have any link with what is happening now? I see pain. I see anguish. I see betrayal. I see forbidden love. A man who is walking through a river filled with crocodiles is like walking on a pin. You need to be careful, hence you fall and become food to the animals. <sighs> May I tell you? That Obwefi Amilum was the one who told me to consult you. That you would help me solve these problems. And that is what I've done, my dear. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, you have confused me even more. For you speak to me in parables. Talk to me. In clear terms. So many things are beyond you, my young prince. And that is why I have great men like you to help me walk through it all. Please, don't disappoint me. Talk to me. The young man is agitated. Look at his face. The forces of the dark 
which could have been prevented are already you, Umeto. Taking root in depth in your household. You fear for them taking root in your household? They have already. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Her stubbornness will bring so many things to this kingdom. And her quest for control will ruin peace. Evil locks in that beautiful face that grace your morning. Don't you ever get tired? I've done my job. I've delivered my message as simple as I could. I beg to take my leave. My brother is just too impossible. How could he go to the extent of investigating such a nice man? How? You know, sometimes I feel He's just too backward and unlettered. I may disagree with you on this one. Your brother is only being protective, and I perfectly understand that. Protective over what? What sort of protection is that? I'm sorry, but I do not need it. Because I am healthy and good, capable enough to take care of myself. Just cut your brother some slacks. He is your family. And if he doesn't feel comfortable with people whom you call friends, of course he would intervene. Yes. Fine. He should only intervene when it's necessary, not when it isn't. For crying out loud, Alphonsus is a nice man. Very good man. And I bet you that no one can take care of me the way he does. No one at all. What if there are some truths to what he is saying? There is no truth. No truth at all. He's obviously been brainwashed by those hidden men. They are of no good. Just because you don't believe in the gods doesn't mean everything about the ancient ways are evil. Some who practice the ancient ways are more upright than many so-called men of God. I don't get this. Seriously? Why does this sound as if you're not far from your husband? No matter what religion I practice, I don't judge people with their belief. Everyone has the right to their freedom of worship and belief. Yes. My princess, I really think you should listen to your brother. You know what? My beautiful Joy, I am so sorry to have brought up this discussion because obviously you're not the right person for this. You're not. Please, keep quiet before I change my opinion about you. I'm sorry, my princess. I don't see anything wrong in this. Son, you want to kill your sister simply because she doesn't support what you're doing. Mother, she does not have to support me. She can have her opinion. But let her keep her opinion to herself and stop insulting men rooted in our cultural and traditional values as a people. But you can still get her to do that without making her suffocated. Please. Don't make this difficult for me. What is going on around here? What is even wrong with Harriet these days? What is happening? Why can she not see what is right before her? But there's nothing wrong. Yes, this man might look suspicious. But he's a good man. And they look good together. Ah, oh, mother. Mother for once. For once, mother. I plead with you to look beyond money and the partnership that this man will strike with the company. Mother, I need you to see beyond that. I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling, Mother. The vibe that I get from this man stand right before I met him in person. Mother, I have never felt this way about any man that had come into this premises before. Not even Kevin. 
Son, I am not saying that I don't believe you. I do. But I think that um, this negative energy is being misdirected. Because of the contempt you have for this man, you seem to direct all this energy towards him. Just look at it that way. Well, I have come to the conclusion that is actually meaningless and almost useless trying to get to you and my sister in this matter. But I'm not giving up, Mother. I will not give up until I unravel this mystery and mysterious air locking around this palace. I will not give up. Something is wrong. I can feel it. I can feel it, Mother. Something is wrong. Mobodo. Ah, I am so happy. Yeah. I've never been so proud of anyone as I am proud of you today. Mm. Now I know you love me beyond measures. And no matter what stories they cook up against me, you will never doubt me. Never will I. Not in my life. I, I love you so much. I believe you ten times over than anyone in this life. And I'll never doubt you in my life. Hmm. I'm glad. Now I know I have your unsolicited support. Mm. Darling. Mm. I think it is time to take this to the next level. What do you mean by next level? Sit. Okay, sit down. Listen, darling. <clears throat> I think it is time for me to put the ring on that finger before destroy us all. Destroy what we have. <laughs> My baby, isn't that so soon? I mean, we, we barely... barely know each other. What else do you think I need to know? I already know everything I need to know and even more. Okay? All you have to do is say yes. And I'll be there with my people to take you home. <laughs> you want us to get married. Isn't that what you want, princess? That is what we want. <laughs> I really love you. And I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> It is good that things are going as planned, except for that stupid prince. If he keeps butting into my plans like a lunatic, I will have to go the extreme. But I have to play it nice and cool. I'm just you wait, my princess. By the time you know what's happening, you will be begging for a way out. Um, what is it again you told me that you two want to, want to do? Get married to your sister, the princess. <laughs> I suppose uh, that both of you have discussed this before now. Oh yes, we have. As a matter of fact, on many occasions. And so I said to myself, why the hell not? You see, I like her so much. And so I have to do what I must do. I want to spend the rest of my waking moments. But you, next to me as my wife. Because I love you so much, darling. Oh, please. Um, I crave your indulgence. Please, I would like to have a word with her in private, if you don't mind. Oh, I do not mind. I will be in the waiting room. 
It's fine. I'll see you, darling. All right. Mm. All right. I'll be with you shortly. You cannot marry him. What the hell do you mean by I cannot marry him? Are you on drugs? As you can see, I'm not on drugs. Huh. Obviously you are. Because you're not making any sense. You're not. I told you. I love this man. I want to marry him. I mean, why can't I marry him? He is not good for you. That's why. Another God's feeling of yours. How many times have I told you that I do not give a damn about your God feelings? Open your eyes, Henrietta. I need you to listen to me. I need you to hear me deeply. That young man is not who he portrays himself to be. That is not the man of your dreams that he claims to be. If he were to be the man of your dreams, he would not be making plans to harm you. No. Ever. You're wrong. I'm not. Now listen to me. I know Alphonsus very well. I know what he can do and what he cannot do. You are obviously the one who doesn't know shit about him, yet you're making a big deal out of everything. Why is it like that? I mean, why don't you want my happiness? Why? What wrong have I done to you? You're using your, your stupid sentiment and belief to destroy my one true chance of being happy. Why? Your assumptions of me are not true. They are true. Of course they are. You and your fetish way will not allow me to be happy. Father literally smothered me all my life because of this same stupid fetish belief. And here you are trying to do the same to me? For what? Why don't you want me to be happy? Why is it like that? I mean, it's high time you people understood that you cannot dictate my life for me. You can't. Your choices for me are of wrong and never for good. I am not choosing for you. I am protecting you. From what? From whom exactly? If only you can step out of this medieval age you are stuck in, then you begin to understand life and exactly the way it goes. Marietta, my sister, I love you. I vow to you this day, on my honor, that I love you. But I will not let sentiments and your recourse to emotions weaken me. I want the best for you, and the best I will give to you. Trust me. What is this? I don't know you like this. Why would you reject food? Because of a man? Mother. I know that what your brother is doing is not right. But with this, it will not solve anything. Your attitude will not change anything. He won't change his mind either. Honestly, Mom, I do not wish to talk to anybody. I want to be left alone. How long? How long do you want to be left alone? Why do you want to shut everyone out of your life? But I'm not shutting anyone out of my life. Nobody is driving me crazy with everything that he's doing. He's pushing me to the wall. He's making it seem as if Alphonsus is some sort of a serial killer. But of course not, Mother. He's a good man. He's a good man. He loves me and I love him too. I know that you love him. But you should also understand your brother's point of view. Your brother is the head of this house. With the absence of your father, he's in charge of every life, including yours. But mother, come on. 
you can actually override him in some things. Perhaps you can talk to him. Let him understand that I, I truly love this man. I love him with everything I've got, mother. If I do not marry him, I will die. I know. Okay, do you promise me if I could talk to your brother on your behalf, you'll come inside and eat food? Mother, the most important thing to me right now is for you to talk to him. I'm, I'm not even hungry. I will talk to him. So do you promise to eat? I'll, I'll do that upstairs. I'll ask the medicine to bring food for you upstairs. But right now, we need to go in. Okay? All right, thank you, Mom. You're going with me, sweetheart. I love you. I know. <sighs> No, but what is this? I don't like it. I must get to the bottom of all this to stop this pain that my daughter is going through right now. She's going through a lot of emotional pain. My daughter's happiness is my power right now. She's going through a lot of pain. Mother, I am protecting my sister. I'm protecting this family, this land. They come, mother. All of them are intertwined. How do you mean? Mother. You see, before my gut feeling kicked in, I have always known that there's something unsettling about that young man. If you pay attention, you would agree with me that since Henry I started dating him a couple of months ago, there's been a lot of changes in her life. No, but I don't understand. Are you talking about them spending time together? So I think it's right to spend time together so they get to know each other. Ah, Mother, Henrietta is losing herself. She has lost control of herself. Henrietta has lost control of her car, Mother. It's as if she's holding the wheel. And someone else is controlling the wheel. Can you not see it? No. Do you remember that a huge project was approved from the company a couple of months ago? Without her usual scrutiny and supervision. Without certification and order of approval. Your daughter. No, mother, that is not her letter. She's very detailed. Something is wrong somewhere. And so I took it upon myself to do my findings. It would interest you, mother, to know that that project went to an NGO owned by Alphonsus. Oh, but what are you saying? Are you saying he's using your sister to get to our finances? We're beginning to get the picture now, man. That man gaining solid ground in this family will help his evil plans materialize, mother. But I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. Not to my sister or anyone in this kingdom. Mother, you know me. What do I stand to gain if my sister ends up if this relationship had felt right from the beginning, I would have given them my blessings. I would have frowned at it. Nobody. No. Are you sure of what you're telling me? Yes, mother. Mother, you know me. You know that I believe in the ancient ways of our forefathers and I practice it. So I know things. There's a certain energy that comes with that young man that my spirit does not agree with. As a matter of fact, there's an energy that repels that guy's spirit in this household. And based on that, will I make my final judgment on this matter? Then something is getting to the bottom of all this. Whatever it is that you feel is a problem, get me answers. So, so, so many secret wars have been fought about the throne 
and the company. We must not lose it. It remains in this family. Get us that son. We won't lose it. We must not. I will get us that son. Songwa, a song. You look so beautiful. They are really taking good care of you. Yes, Mama. They are. They really are. But you don't sound good. Is anything the matter? Is the prince not treating you right? No. No, no, Mama. My husband is amazing. The prince is just the perfect gentleman. Ne, I'm fine. Trust me. I'm fine. <laughs> I am your mother. I know you as I know the backs of my hands. So tell me, what is troubling you? Ne, it's nothing serious. I'm just... Mother, I'm worried. I'm worried for my husband and the entire royal home. Why? What's wrong? There are just so much going on right now. My husband is so stressed with his sister's marriage issues. And then handling the office, the entire kingdom at the same time. I mean, the whole thing hasn't been fair and easy on him. And yes, to us all. <sighs> well, what can I say? That is expected of the future king of the kingdom. It's not easy for a son to be thrown into uh, uh, the role of being the head of the family and the multi-millionaire mining corporation. Nothing prepares you for such roles in life. And no matter how prepared and ready you think you are, something will always have you questioning your decisions and choices. Such is life, my daughter. Why does it feel like you are telling me about something else and not discussing this with me no. right now? No, my daughter. I, I speak in general. And who is the owner of the car? Oh, hey. I thought as much. My very beautiful daughter. When did you arrive? Not quite long. Oh. Mother told me you went out to say hi to your friend. Yes, I just went out to see one of my friends. You know, keeping it real with what you suggested, <laughs> that somebody should have one or two friends, that it is very handy, you know, it is very good for a handy living. That's very good. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? So how is everything? Everything is fine, Joy. Father, as you can see. Let me go and check what is on fire. Good. I'll be right back. Good. <laughs> Beautiful wife. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. It is so glaring that Royalty fits you better. Thank you, my father. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is good you are here because we have a whole lot to discuss, you know. So, how far have you gone with the plan? Father, please. Not now. Especially not here. No, if we cannot discuss this thing here, you tell me where else we can discuss it. I don't understand what is going on. Joy, I know what you are doing. You have been avoiding my cause. In fact, you have been avoiding me because each time you will decide to come see your mother, you will always ensure that it is the time when I am not around. Can you tell me what is going on? Father, nothing is going on. Nothing. Okay. Has he signed the document I give you? Has he signed it? Joy, I don't understand why you are looking at me. I gave you a document for that idiot to sign and I'm asking you, has he signed it? If he has not signed it, what are you waiting for? Father, it is not as easy as you think. For God's sake, my husband is going through a lot. 
Papa, I can't just give him the document now. He is going through a lot. And that is the best time for you to get this task executed. What else are you waiting for? I don't understand. Why are you opening your eyes? Listen, you have everything. Look at you. You have everything that a woman should have. In fact, thanks to the gods of our land, they have even bestowed you with even more than enough. Why can't you use all these weapons that you have in your arsenal to get this task executed? Or are you simply waiting for that idiot to get you pregnant and have something growing inside of you before you can do this important thing? Father, please! Stop it! Stop what? Don't do that! It is my husband you're talking about no, like no, that! No, calm down, calm down, calm down because he is not your husband. In fact, he is not anybody's husband. Father! Calm down, he's a fool. He is just the man that we are using. A man that we have positioned to be enjoying what he can enjoy, giving to him on a platter of gold so that we can get something from him. And you know exactly what you want to get from him. You cannot sit here calling him your husband. You understand the game from the very beginning. What the hell is going on? Papa, I can't believe you're saying all this. Do you know what? I want you to go back to that palace and they start to walk. It is very obvious that you have resorted to sentiments. I play no set. I'm a businessman. You just said it already that he is stressed. Find a way to slip that document right into the files or whatever it is that he's going to sign. Let him sign it and as long as he signs it, he has actually signed his life away. And then that means you have actually assisted us to do what you have been planning over the years. Leave the rest to me. That's the very simple thing that we are asking you to do. I don't know why you are not doing it. Papa, this is very difficult. It is. Listen, don't perform me. Don't perform me. Why are you calling that man your husband? As if he didn't know what, what, what is up. Listen, listen. If he is enjoying you, don't ever allow him to enjoy too much. And get time let's now by now. Oh, I hate this guy. Stupid guy. Very stupid prince. Always acting like he had not to crack. Oh, I have been lenient with you. I have been so lenient with you. I... I do not have the patience to deal with this anymore. We move to plan B. Do it. You have decided to resist us. You will pay the ultimate price, and your blood will not amount to anything. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you mean you couldn't penetrate him? What's that supposed to mean? It is supposed to mean exactly what I just told you. It's like a stronger power is protecting him. With all the powers that you possess, you're telling me that you cannot eliminate a mere mortal. You should have just told me that your powers are faded. How dare you say something like that about me? Have you suddenly forgotten who you're talking to? I am the great apostle of Pharaoh, and I hate to be on the mind. There is something very ancient about that prince, and I don't want to get involved. I see. You don't want to get involved? Well, the sister told me that he is highly rooted in tradition. You call yourself the apostle of Pharaoh. Why are you afraid of Asian powers? Are you trying to tell me now that Pharaoh is now a modern authority? I'm not going to join issues with you. But if you must go any further, you must get your facts right. I was deep in my sleep. Very deep in my sleep. But I could feel it. Some evil force hovering around, trying very hard to lay claim on my soul. No one, none of them, they cannot lay claims on your soul because you are the son of the gods. You are not just ordinary human being. You are the chosen, the blessed son of the gods planted in this land to reclaim victory in all ramifications. I tell you this, they will continue to try, but they will continue to fail. Fagana Ali, Fagana Ada. Well, with I hear you. But is there something we can do? that are beats such evil forces from attacking the palace in the future. As for the palace in the future, yourself and so many others under the same roof are already protected by the gods. Yes. But except one person anyway. My sister. Oh, she has gone far, far beyond the usual girl you used to know. She is too far beyond the girl that parades the palace, talks at work. She's no longer the person she used to be. There is a strong hold on her life now. She is now acting under the influence of a particular force. Yes. And the thing is this. She sees nothing good in any person anymore. She sees nothing to be right. As far as she is concerned, nothing is right. But the truth is that she is acting against herself. In other words, directly opposite herself. But what if you work and we do? I want her to come back to her senses. Well, you cannot kill yourself. You have tried, my dear prince. You have tried so much. You've conducted a lot of prayers, sacrifices on her behalf. But her stubbornness has already provoked the gods as we speak. And that led to the gods deciding that she has to be the one to help herself now. Onye Bunisi Kona Konisi. She is the one to help herself, so she has to hear, see, and know the truth by herself or for herself. It's tough, Rivi. 
because she will not even allow me to speak to her. She sees me as a sadist who does not want her happy. That is what we are saying. The same thing we are saying. For the fact that she is acting under the influence of a particular force, a particular spirit, she doesn't want herself anymore. Anyway, we can still approach the gods. Maybe the gods can still be kind enough to listen. We can still approach the gods, maybe this time around with a, with a ram. A heavy ram. Um, because um, the ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Men can argue, talk, decide, whatever. But the gods always have the final say. We can still appease them, plead. They may consider and they want to handle the matter their own way. So let us do the best we can to. Kai Kukena Kanuzo, Kafamege. Let us knock on the door. Arrows from every direction, fireballs thrown to the royal house. Invisible enemies stuck all around. Why do I feel troubled right in Samato? And the throne is How are you? What have you come here to do? How are you? What are you doing here? You were evidently absent today at the office. Did you forget that the all-important management meeting was slated for today? I don't see the need for me to be there. Why would you say that? Why won't I say that? I still do not understand how I signed off my rights to you in that power of attorney. So what's the point? Just like you've always done. Do it again. Come on, Iris, I don't be silly. Huh? We need you. Yes, we do. You're one person who understands the full management structure of that company. We need you. When you're not there, that department suffers. No, you don't need me, bro. You are the CEO, right? Go ahead and manage everything. Manage it. But I promise you something. It will never last. Enjoy the power and control while it lasts. Enjoy it. But by the time I strike, you will be begging for the position of a security man. If the throne is at stake, I, I will fight to the last drop of my blood. Then we try and then we fail. Stop on us, indeed, is a serious sense. Because the man that's them by the ghost is always protected. No matter the fight you face, no matter the war you face, we must try. If he signs this document, my father and his partners in crime would succeed in crippling this kingdom. And if I fail to present this document for his signature, my father would hate me for life. God, why must it be me? Why? It's impossible. It's like fighting the wind. I'm trying to empty the ocean i stop the river from flowing It's impossible Arrows from every direction Fireballs thrown to the royal house Invisible enemies stuck all around Why do I feel troubled right inside my heart? Oh, if the throne is at stake, I, I will fight with the last drop of my blood. Then we try and then we fail. And Who is that? I remember the chosen one. Cause the man that stand by the door is always protected. Great things, Your Highness. May you reign forever. What do you want here? The prince has asked me to get the files on the bed. And where is he? He's in the mini study room, Your Highness.
Afisi Noma. Afisi Noma. No, I'm talking to I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where are the papers? Where's my husband? He's, he's outside. Where is the papers? I don't know my choices. Well, yeah, I, I pretty much read it. I, I, I read it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should. I should have done. I should. <laughs> what is going on? What are you crying because I signed off on some work? Is that work you just happened? signed off in your life. They wanted me to make you sign it, and you just did. <laughs> they, wanted, they wanted you to make. Who, who wanted you to? Make my father, my father, his friend chief of former and some other elders. Yes. They wanted you out of the throne. And and when that happens, the cooperation goes with it. Okay. My father had his own plan. He wanted me close to you. Get inside the paper and and cast you off. And I can't believe I did this to you. I'm sorry. My prince just destroy the paper. If you destroy the paper, then the signature on it is useless. Please, I'm sorry. I beg you forgive. Forgive me, I'm truly sorry. <laughs> Will this be the paper you're talking about? This is what? A... You did sign? Thank goodness. Right. Listen, John. I'm not exactly stupid. I've been observing you. Okay, I see how you struggle. I see how your demeanor changes each time you visit your parents. I'm also privy to some of the very muffled conversations you have with them. I know your father. I know he does not like me. I know he wants me off the throne. And I knew that it was just a matter of time before he unleashes his very little skin. I know these things. Um, come here. <laughs> see who you truly are. You are a good man. Okay. I'm truly sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Go ahead. Talk to me. I'm listening. It all started on the day of our marriage. Uh -huh. Here she comes. The beautiful daughter of mine. Look at her, Chief of Forma. Is she not looking amazing? She's the most beautiful bride I have ever set my eyes on. You can say that again. JD, the gods have really endured you here. Lucky is the man that has the last and then claim on her. I like the sound of that. <laughs> My daughter, you are indeed very beautiful. Thank you so much. You will not just make an excellent wife. 
But you are going to be the queen of Bruno one day. Mm -mm. Nein. Not just one day, but she is already on the process. Yeah. In a few months time, she will be crowned the queen of Bruno. <laughs> Alongside her husband, the king to be. <laughs> My husband, are you not ready? The, 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 the royal family are going to be here very soon. Uh, my beautiful wife, please, uh, there is something I want to discuss with my daughter in private. So if you don't mind, can you please excuse us? Okay, nine. Let me go and know how the preparation is going. Good, good. <laughs> uh, beautiful daughter of mine, look at you. Elegant. Just like the morning star. <laughs> you know, there is something I want to discuss with you, something very important. Please, just come and sit down. Father, I hope there is no problem. No, not at all. There's no problem. I just want you to know that I, that I love you. I actually love you from the deepest part of my heart. Yes, I know. You are that daughter of mine who came into this world when my wife and I we are not expecting to have a child. But it has not changed anything. I love you just the same way I love your siblings. And um, I want you to understand that I will always do. Thank you, Father. Uh, but I am not happy you are getting married to the Prince of Duno. Father, what are you saying? I thought you were happy about this whole thing. On the contrary, I am not. But I... More reason I am holding this meeting with you. But I'm going to allow the marriage because it is actually a stepping stone to where we are headed. Uh, please, tell her the truth already. It's all right. Um, listen, my dear. Your marriage to the Prince of Doom is one of the schemes that will lead us to the heart of the palace in order for your father and myself to achieve what we have been planning, what we have been thinking all these years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Papa, I don't, I don't understand. Well, um, you will be getting married to the Prince of Duno today. As you know, we are already prepared. But I want you to know, in the deep of your heart, I want you to see yourself as still very much single. Because that marriage is not actually in existence. It is just a puzzle. Something that we have set up as a puzzle to help us unmask what we have been trying to unmask for years now. Father, I don't get it. You will try to get it. What I am saying is that you are going there and then you are there just as a wife. But you are actually not a wife because everything is all about the money. That is the reason I sent your mother out, because I want to communicate with you direct. I know you will understand me. Father, is my marriage just a mere compromise? No, what? there is nothing like a mere compromise, because I can actually kill for you. I won't even have what but I want you to understand this. It is for the money. You got Nego. And be go, it's go after. On your own, are you okay? What? You have to be very careful with that document I gave you. That document is actually the future of this kingdom. I want you to get him at his best moment when he's very vulnerable as a man with a woman and let him sign in the column I have already showed you. The signature on that paper is going to solidify every single thing we have planned. I wonder how you reason sometimes, Father. Uh, 
How do you mean? How could you sit here and talk me into ambushing my own husband? Have you forgotten he's the future king of this land? No, he's not. He is not the future king of this kingdom. Rather, he is a fool who will not amount to anything. Father! Listen to me. I want you to make him put his signature where I want his signature to be. It's just a matter of a few weeks and he will be stripped of all his powers and authority. Even the throne will go with it. And me? What then happens to me? You are fully covered. You see this position of a queen that you occupy now? It is actually very permanent. Everything is already worked out, my dear. You see the son of a former is going to make you his wife. Very handsome young man. Who is actually a far, far, far of great quality than this idiot. Who is parading himself now as your husband. And that's why I warn you. Do not. Do not allow that animal to overuse you and make you pregnant. Because you belong to someone else. Everything is already planned out. Okay? So I'm um, some peace offering. A means to an end. Mm -hmm. You are not. You are actually a star. A star in Dunu because you are doing something for us. Something nobody has ever done before. In fact, you are giving us new hope. And that's why you will be celebrated forever. Father, you're just too greedy. How do you mean? That's what it is. I mean, how could you allow a man who has practically lost every single respect he has in this kingdom simply because of his quest for power get into you and corrupt your mind? You are wrong. Nobody is corrupting anybody. Rather, we are working for the good of the land. And do not actually qualify the man as one who has lost all respect because indeed, he is a man of timber and caliber in this land. What we are doing is that we are reclaiming our land. We can no longer continue to be beggars in our own land where the gods and the ancestors have given us enormous resources. And just one family will hijack everything as if they are the only family in the kingdom. And you want us to just sit back and watch. No. The time for us to regain everything is now. And that is why you are in the front line. I want you to do what I have already asked you to do. And you will be happy. You will be. Listen. Even now, you will be. Even now, you will be. No, 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 you have done it already because you are that girl I am very proud of. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my praise. So many times. So many times I tried to attempt what my father has planned. But, but my conscience wouldn't let me. And today was an exception. <laughs> he said his life was being threatened by his counterparts involved in the plan. He said, he said they were threatening him and he sounded so scared. I didn't want them to hurt him. And I don't want to hurt you either. I found myself in a dilemma between my father and the one I love so much. The one that means everything to me. The one I respect. The one that means the whole world to me. The one I trust to be the real man of God. You. You, my husband. 
I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. For two weeks, you have not managed to do anything. Don't tell me you have continued to allow this boy go in and out of your honey pot without getting him to do what he is supposed to do. Listen, don't make me angry, please. Because you don't have time. Do you understand it? Father, you cannot make me sign my husband's death warrant. Shut up. You will. Listen, you will all. This kingdom is going to go into a bloodbath. I don't Can't. get what must happen to happen. Do you understand what I am saying? You are going to do exactly what I am asking you to do. But this is difficult. The answer. Ah, my prince, my prince. I am just catching up with my daughter. This beautiful daughter of mine. And I am so grateful to you for taking very wonderful care of my daughter. Look at how she's looking. Mm -hmm. It shows you are indeed a very good husband. I am impressed. Yeah? I shall actually be on my way. Okay. <laughs> so you take care of yourself and keep taking good care of your husband. Okay, father. Okay then. Is everything okay? Yes, my prince. Everything is fine. <laughs> you are indeed a case of her. It's okay. One thing I will never do is to fight blindly. If I must be part of this scheme, you must tell me everything I need to know. I don't see this as a scheme. I see it as a revolution. What useless revolution are you talking about? Eh? We have been enjoying peace in this dune. Why are you trying to support an evil agenda to destroy this peace? Why? I look at you and I laugh. Why are you talking like a saint? Why? What do you mean by that? Huh? Do you think I'm as evil as you? Specifically, Ichiakweze. You are the very personification of evil. Do you think I do not know the deadly sacrifices you make at deadly junctions at all hours in order to eliminate the prince? Do you think I don't know? Uh, how did you get to know that? I know because I am chief of former. I know everything that happens here. Listen, we can cripple the prince mm. without even killing him and take back our kingdom. Uh, but how do we achieve that? Because that is exactly what I want. How can one family I jack the fortunes of this kingdom. The prince is the CEO of the company. Hmm? The sister is the financial director and general manager of the same company. Listen. It's so hard of. Listen, that. the whole of us look like conquered people. We need to hold another meeting with the JD. Yes. In order for us to plan for a way forward. Uh, uh, please, is there any way we can do without a JD? That man is so full of himself. In fact, I have been trying as much as I can to avoid him. Please avoid him. Ichiakweze, you misunderstood JD. That man, JD, has been working for us. You misunderstood him. We must work together and achieve our aims. Uh, 
Hey. <sighs> Where were you lost to? Hello? What is wrong with you? Um, I did, uh, hey, hold on. I guess it's that foolish brother of mine. No. What on earth has he done to you to make you cry this time around? No, my princess. It's not your brother. Mm. In fact, your brother loves me. He loves me so well that sometimes I just... I have no words to express your brother's magnitude of love towards me. Mm. That sounds very odd. Yeah, it is. So where are you up to? Office. And from there, I'm going to see my darling Alphonsus. Please let him know that before he blows my cell with his numerous calls. My princess, he doesn't hate you. In fact, he loves you more than anything in this world. He can't let any harm come to you. Hmm. I know. But honestly, I don't care. He's doing what he thinks is right for me. But I'm an adult. I know me. I know what is good for me, not the other way around. Why can't she just accept the brother the way he is? Why? This is totally unacceptable. How can you tell me the same story over and over again and again? I've told you that this guy has no powers. He belongs to no power cult. How in the world does he possess such protections? I do not know. But like I said, he is not alone. You of all people know that this guy is the only stumbling block I have towards achieving my goals in this kingdom. And that is why I hired you. But you know I am trying my best. Your best is not giving me results. I need results. I need answers. What do you mean by there's nothing else to be done? The charm you prepared worked perfectly fine on her sister. At first sight, she got enchanted. And she did all my biddings. If not for that, careless prince that proves stubborn all the time. You know, if those charms got to him, he would have already been dead by now. But he didn't. I wonder why we couldn't break his wall like we did with the princess. It was very simple. Because she's a fool. She thinks I'm going to marry her. I don't know. I've got my eyes on the throne and the company. As soon as I get that, I will throw her back into the fields and that's where she belongs. But how can I achieve that? When I can't get that meticulous prince out of the way? Then maybe we don't need to kill him. What? Are you out of your mind? Spiritually, I mean. What exactly do you mean? Have your boys, or hire boys, to kidnap him. Make it look like he's for ransom, and then still kill. You know, by then, the princess would have been very vulnerable and emotional. Then it would be your cue to propose and get what you want. The throne and the company. You know you are too smart for a witch doctor.
Well, it would interest you to know that um, three political parties have invited me to join their parties so as to run for the House of Representatives, but I declined. Oh yes, I declined because I do not want my very clean reputation to be dented by the lies and manipulations of politics. Uh, it's not my thing. If I would reconsider. <laughs> that will be a tall order. Uh, let me call you at night so that we can talk more. Huh? Yes, I will call you. Thank you. The princess just got back from a visit to Alfonso's house. I choose not to discuss that. My love, please. You have to speak with her. I suspect there is something she saw back there. Something she still cannot comprehend. She has refused to speak to me. And I believe she will talk to you. How do I begin to have this conversation? explain all this to her. How? He lied to me. He deceived me. I've been a fool all this while. I've been an idiot. Stop crying. All the things you warned me about him were all true. I've been a fool. No, you have not been a fool. Hey. It's fine. It wasn't your fault. Uh, okay. You trusted him. You loved him. You fought for him. You believed him. Okay? Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Come on. He charmed me. He made me fall in love with him. Oh, you have no idea what I went through. Honestly. He used me to gain access into the company's account. I understand that. You don't know how much he insisted that I, I give to him that period. Stop crying. I know you never bargained for this. Okay? <laughs> Besides, you are not in control, okay? You are vulnerable. These things happen. Uh, listen, listen. Can't imagine this happening. <laughs> Stop crying. We are going to get him from this. I promise you. He hasn't stopped. He hasn't. He, he, he tried to kill you spiritually, but it didn't work. No, he's looking for another alternative to take you down. No, he cannot. <laughs> he cannot kill me. <laughs> he cannot. Stop crying. I can't, Stop can't crying. forgive myself. I've been a fool. <laughs> I promise you, we'll get him for this. Okay? <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> Get out of my way. Oga, you cannot enter this place. The prince gave a standing order that it should never, or by any reason or means, be allowed into this palace. So I will advise you to turn and leave. Unfortunately, I'm not here to see him, but the princess. Ah, that made it worse. Oga, go. You cannot see her. Don't provoke mm. me because if I blow you one, you go turn red. Go home. Get out of my way. Huh? I said, get out of my way! Hey! Let him through. <laughs> Do you see yourselves? He gave the orders and now he has let me in. 
I'll make sure the princess has both your jobs before the end of the day. Fools! Eh? Ah. Hey, everyone. I'm sorry I didn't mean to cause any commotion. The guards, they were being so unreasonable. I wanted to see the princess. Hey, baby. What exactly have you come here to do? <laughs> what exactly have I come here to do? What else will I come here to do if not to see you, my princess? I called over a thousand times and you weren't taking my calls. I sent some messages over, yet you weren't responding. Why? Yet you decided to show up here and make a total ridicule of yourself. Alphonsus, you are indeed classless. Now listen and listen very attentively. Let me break it down for you, you classless gold digger. Everything we had between us has ended. It's actually ended even before it started. <laughs> Darling, what are you talking about? You heard her. Both of you are done. Baby. I am not your baby. Alphonsus. So you still have the nerves to step this miserable feet of yours into my father's compound. After all you did. How do you feel watching me lose myself completely to you? How do you feel? Baby, what the hell are you talking about? It has worn off. Your charm has worn off. It doesn't work anymore. What charms are you talking about, darling? What charms? Alfonso quits the precincts. Because you look even more foolish. We know everything. We know how you skinned your way into this family with the help of your witch doctor friend. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Your time is up. I heard everything. Everything you two discussed. You charmed me. You even made me go against my only brother. For what? So you could get access into the kingdom's company? Uh, uh, so you... Yes! I was your biggest access card. But alas, my brother saw through your gains and took me off one third of the company's right. What did you do? You schemed your way through just to kill him. Because you knew full well that he was the only person who could stop you. You wanted to walk through me and take everything. Oh, Alphonsus, you are despicable. So you found out. That's why you stopped taking my calls. You may take me for a fool, but I'm certainly not an idiot. I stopped everything immediately your charms went off my body. I saw who you really are. Very well then. There will be no need to pretend. I never loved you. Like, maybe. But love, never. I charmed you. I made you dance to my tune. You did my biddings. I must commend you. You did well. You are nothing but a bastard. A bastard you are. I loved you. I loved you with everything in me. I loved you so much. What did I get in return? You, you turned me into a little puppet you could control any time at your disposal. You are evil. A puppet you were. A big one at that. Do you know how much I mean? The little time we spent together. I would have had a billion to my name. If not for your brother here. Oh my god! You... It was just a game. Taken from the rich. All I needed was a witch doctor. Who had more powers than a thousand put together. With a little magic. I made you and your mother dance to my tea. Mother! Oh yes, my queen, you remember how you came to me, told me about the princess's heartbreak. 
You asked me to come back to our community, invest here, and then marry the princess, your lovely princess. That is not true. You are supposed to make her fall in love naturally with you. What was I supposed to do when she was hard not to crack? I did all I could with everything that was at my disposal. Charms. And it did work. And you had this plan all along. That is why you went this far? I see you're smart. This is where your son got his brains from. I never liked the prince. He made me lose everything. Virtually everything. For that very reason, I will not let you leave. to frustrate yourself when you decided to frustrate the elect of the gods. <sighs> How dare you! Unforgivable. A man like Alphonsus is supposed to be banished from this kingdom, never to return. That is my stance on this matter. It is only a righteous man who can issue that kind of judgment on another person. Someone like you, who has feet in his hand, cannot issue that kind of judgment on another person. JD, what are you insinuating? Father, what do you think you're doing? JD, what did you mean by that insult you just spotted right now? How dare you insult the prince? The heir apparent to the throne of the dunyu in such a manner. You know what? I don't have time for elders who cannot respect themselves. Can't you people see it? No, are you pretending about this or what? That you cannot see the truth and you speak it? That this boy here is not worthy of the throne? Says who? Uh, listen, eh? I don't want us to waste time. We all know Shiv Cosmos here. This is the son, Kelvin, who ordinarily is supposed to be married to the princess now. This person here is Nonya, the daughter. And the boy is her son. You have father. Uh, so it is very clear that you know her, right? And uh, you don't need anybody to tell you that this boy here is actually the seed from the loins. What nonsense are you talking about? It's no nonsense. She is my sister. The boy is my nephew. The product of your lies and wickedness towards my sister. I don't, I don't get any of this. What, 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 what is this? What is this? I don't get it. What is it that you don't get? That you got my daughter here pregnant and abandoned her? Is that what you don't get? <laughs> oh, this, this is ridiculous, really. My prince. Do you know this young lady? He asked the question and he needs an answer. Do you know this young lady? 
Well, yes, I do. Uh, have you ever had some sort of relationship with her? I did, but it was not. Hey, hey, you shut up. Shut up with that bed. We don't need it. What kind of nonsense is this? You are going to be sitting down here listening to this? What kind of a man is that? Who is going to go into an intimate relationship with a woman? And when something, life from him is growing in her, he abandons her. And that is the kind of man you want to present as a king? How can that man be king in Duno Kingdom? How is that possible? You insensitive swine. You fought me when I cheated on your sister. Whereas you are the greatest cheater of all time. Look at what you did to my sister. You know, I, I don't actually know why we are here. But we are not facing it. We have to call a spade a spade. This man here is very irresponsible. A man who cannot take responsibility for his actions. How can he be king? Prince Wobun. He has the tendency of tenting on us, looking down on people, making them believe that they are evil, whereas he is the greatest sinner of all times. Is it also glaring? No, he is not. He is not. Chris Wobble is not the greatest sinner of all time. He is not. Chris Wobble did not wrong any human. Any spirit, any deity. I am standing in front of you, old man. Maybe you need to consult your gods again. Consult them again so that they will tell you the truth of what happened because the evidence of his wickedness is staring here on our faces. When a child pours out evil words ignorantly, he feels glad in his heart. By the time the words return to him, he'll feel bitter all over his life. What kind of evidence are you talking about? Is it the evidence that was concocted? Listen, Prince Mubur is free. Free of the allegations the people lay against him. Old man, don't let me lose my hope. What are you insinuating? Are you trying to say that my sister is lying? Or are you trying to say that this family didn't hurt my sister? Nobody said so. Your sister may have been hurt by this family or something. That is not the issue. The point of contention is that Prince Waboro is a free man. He's an innocent person. And... Chinonye Cosmos. Speak the truth and nothing but the truth before these people. Except if you want to risk facing the wrath of the gods. I have no other truth to say. If you cannot believe in me, I see the truth of it. Oh, oh. Ah, be very careful. Very, very careful of the next word you utter. For the gods, the great gods of Dune Kingdom, do not take it lightly when it has to do with laying false allegation against any son, any daughter of this soil. Especially when it has to do with someone that has identified with them. Thank you. Thank you for your time the interference to save what would have metamorphosed into a very ugly situation. However, I think that it's time for me to tell my own side of the story. Shin Onyerim used to be my girlfriend from way back. We liked each other a lot. As a matter of fact, I loved her. I loved her enough. Enough to marry her. Chinonye, I want to ask you right now, in front of all these people, is this stunt really necessary? Hello? Yes.
Yes, I am. I'm here. Sorry, you are the only one I could, I could think of. That's my father. That's my, that's my father. How are you in the same room with my father? How, how did you end up here with my father? He started having seizure in the middle. I, 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 I don't know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Like, how? Like, what is going on? Like, how are you? Is that what I'm thinking? In the middle of what we might have in. Goodness! How long has this been going on? How long? How long? I ask you. Mobodo, please. This is neither the place nor the time to say this. I have been shocked out of my mind. You must be out of your mind. Of course you should be shocked out of your mind. What are you trying to flip this on me? Are you trying to play the victim here? Why are you be sleeping with my father? Are you out of your mind? How could you? You left me. You walked out of our relationship because you were sleeping with someone. How could I have known that it's my father? And you had the mind to bring me here to come rescue you only for me to be confronted with this bullshit. How could you? And I'm here asking you, how long has this been going on? Three weeks. Three weeks of our stay in the palace. Mubodo, please, I am deeply sorry. I, I, I never meant to hurt you this way. I am sorry, please. My goodness. My goodness. You're evil. You are evil. You were sleeping with me and sleeping with my father at the same time. Huh? You're very sorry. Uh, shut the fuck up. How was I supposed to know? Now I get it. Now I get it. Now I understand his sudden love and affection and acceptance for you. Now I freaking get it. You disgust me. You disgust me. I regret ever having anything to do with you. You are nothing but a cheap prostitute. Don't you don't ever call my name. You do not qualify to call my name. Pray very hard. Pray as hard as you can that those doctors revive my father. If anything happens to him, I'm going to have your head on the slap. Do you hear me? I'm going to take you down. I'm going to make sure you go to jail for what you've done to me and my family. Prostitute. And so that was what happened. Luckily, my father regained consciousness. But all through his stay there, Nanye never showed up. All through the rest of his stay. Is it even possible that I am a father to a child that was conceived after Nanye and I had lost contact? You are not saying anything. She cannot say anything. Because her lies cannot suppress the truth. This is why you fell out with your father. And developed deep hatred for him till he died. Why didn't you tell me something? Why? He destroyed his personality right in front of me. You two had a beautiful marriage. I could 
wouldn't spoil that, brother. So I lived with the truth that I knew. I lived with a broken heart. This is for hurting my brother. For my mother and for trying to tear my family apart, you sick bitch. You are so despicable. I sit down here and, I, and I'm asking myself, why? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so despicable? What did I ever do to you? Why? Look at us, we're all seated here, we're all gathered here because of you and the powers of lies that we have to deal with. Why? You even planted your brother. You planted your brother in my sister's life to take revenge. For what exactly? What did I do to you? She not yell at me. She be ashamed of herself. beats my imagination why you are angry with the prince. He loves you and that is why he took you to see his parents. That you went there and decided to make a fool of yourself is not his fault. Hey, Neka, do not talk to me in that manner. He knew he has a playboy as a father and he still took me there. <laughs> oh no, you are so very pathetic. Can you hear yourself speak? That he offered you one million naira at a spot and promised you a range. Is that why you should bang him? Have you forgotten when you get married to the son, everything becomes yours? Okay, stop the blame game. It has happened. We should be seeking for a way to solve this thing. There is nothing to solve here as long as I'm consigned. This thing you are carrying here is a pure definition of a wanted pregnancy. You better get rid of it before you put yourself in a mess. This child... Is a royal child. A prince or a princess. This child is my hook to get that family to pay for everything they have done to me. So do not preach to me again, for I will never abort this child. Why? But when it turns out bad to me, please don't call me. I did what I did for my son. A prince of this land. Should he be punished because of the sins his parents committed? I am very, very disappointed in you. How could you lie to our faces? For the fact you made father have a great hatred for this family to an extent he was ready to do everything humanly possible to ruin them all. All because of the mistake you made. I regret ever letting you get to me. To even think I once had about the thought of killing the prince is making me go mad. You couldn't have killed him, young man. Yes. Yes. For you can never, ever hurt an innocent man. Ask the people here what happened to our faces. Huh? Hello, man. Let's go. Let the boy stay. He's my brother. He's family. The boy is my blood. From what you have seen, it is very clear that our late king was indeed an evil man. And I'm asking us, elders in council, are we going to allow his son to take over? Can't we see it is going to be a cycle? It is said in this part of the world that whatever thing that a snake will give birth to must necessarily belong. Even when we go to go. 
I want the elders in council to call a spade a spade. It is going to be a doom for this kingdom. If we allow the offspring of a man who slept with his son's fiance to take over. Father, enough. Stop spinning the table so it would favor whatever thing you think you're fighting for. Will you shut up? Shut up before I kill you here. Listen to me. I will be forced to treat you like a stranger if you refuse to shut up this minute. It's J.D. Enough! You are not going to speak to my woman like that. Stop it! She was originally my daughter before she became whatever. Therefore, I have the right to talk to her, yell at her anyhow I want. You can't stop me. Father, I am asking you. Stop! Stop fighting for what doesn't belong to you. The throne! The company, it is not yours. And those people are deceiving you. What is she talking about? You are looking at the child talking. Are you asking what is she talking about? What is she talking about? What in this world will a friend be doing with childish talk? Father, I am not a child. And you should stop all this nonsense. How are you talking to me? My queen, my father is eyeing the throne. In fact, he's been conspiring with Ichie or former and some other elders to steal the throne from you. He didn't marry me to the prince because he wanted to. He had his own plan. He did that because he wanted me to help him steal the throne from you. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I lost my husband. And that's why my father hates me now. <laughs> you imbecile daughter of mine. You sit before me to blow the whistle of me. So you want me to kill you, right? There is time for everything. I have to stop you, father, because you are headed for doom. Stop eyeing what's not yours. I am headed for doom. I'm Ichie. Quit the pretense. For you know that everything that your daughter said here it's nothing but the truth i know you you know that i know you i know you and i know your cohorts it's your former it's your good it's your crazy. i know all of you and i know what you want but i'm willing to forgive for the good of our people i'm willing to forgive so that we can just move on You planted your daughter in my life. Not because you had good intentions for me. Because you wanted her to kill me. But today, she's my better half. I love her so much. And for the love I have for her, I am willing to forgive you. You're a fool to tell me that. I don't want to sit here listening to this nonsense, but let me tell you something. You will never emerge king in this land. What is the only Ah, ah, ah! If what he said is true, so be it. But if it is not true, if this man had the opportunity to heal this land, and they failed to do so. Instead, they destroyed the land. Ah, I know what's now. Can I hold your phone call? I'll call to your number. May the gods guide us. He said. May the gods guide us. He said. May the gods guide us. Ah. Ah. Like stop in the river from flowing No, it's impossible It's like fighting the wind Or trying to empty the ocean 
I stop the river from flowing. It's impossible. My prince, I want to apologize to you because I had no idea of what evil intentions Alfonso had to approach me with. I know you wouldn't have allowed it if I didn't get involved. Oh no, I hold it not against you. For I know that you had good intentions when you did what you did. However, there is something to take from this. That is the fact that we meet the beautiful and flashy faces that we see every day lies a huge deposit of evil and deceit. You know what they say or no? The heart of man is desperately wicked. I agree with you, my prince. And that brings us to the topic of who becomes the queen? Is that to be questioned, you know? I already have a queen. What are you talking about? My prince, yes. you must be joking. <laughs> I know the body of kingmakers of Duno will never allow the daughter of an evil man who disrupted the peace of Duno to become the queen. Oh no. I'll have you know that in Duno, where I rule, that people will be judged by their actions and not the actions of all the people. She may be the daughter of a traitor, but she has proven herself to be a noble woman. She has refused to be consumed in manipulation. She spoke up. She repented. So she remains the queen. But my prince don't... No buts or no. I know that you still believe in the offer of doing the validity of queenship in Duno will be tested by the offer of Duno. My prince, you mean you still want to involve the same offer that just kills some people? Oh no, when it comes to the application of the rules of justice, I like to go to the extreme. The kingmakers of Duno must respect the offer of Duno. What is going on? I saw the maidens putting your belongings in the car. What is going on? My love. I think it's best for us. No. I should be thanking you for not sending me away like a common criminal when you had the chance to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything my father did to you and your family. You don't deserve that. You never did. I just want to say goodbye in person before I leave. of Duna Kingdom on the strength of what they know and what my father did would never allow me be a queen in this land. They would never. It is not your choice to make. 
is mine to make. And I choose you. My prince. I told them that I cannot be king without my queen. And they listened to you? They agreed because I involved the offer. My beautiful queen, you and I will stick together as man and wife. I rule this beautiful kingdom of Duna because you're my queen. I love you. I love you. I love you much more. Turn out to be bad. Why some bad friends turn out to be bad? 